And we are live. fix that one yeah <laughs> what you gotta fix uh it sounded like something was blending at the end but i'm gonna switch it up every time just to give us something different to rock out to get mm -hmm. the energy good before we get started 
Yeah, yeah. What's up with everybody? Brilliant, Aaron, Clinton, Mr. Coconut, Chosen by Light. What's up, babe? Um, Shoreline, brilliant again, Aaron again. Free is free is always me. Your boy, boy Roy, what's up with it? Bob Grows Bud, fuck all that B. Dang Sinatra tapped in, Muddy Bear was good. Kings got everybody in the building. De Leon, what's up with it? Beast, what's good, man? How you been? Man, everything is great. For uh, it's been a little while before I was fully caught up on almost everything, but I almost got everything right where I need to have it. You living up to your name, man? You out there beasting? Man, huh? trying. Trying, yeah. <laughs> You're beasting on the coast, man. Is man, I'm trying, the... trying to trying to bring the fire to the east coast too. Hell yeah, man. Got to connect the dots. How's there, how everything been for you? It's great, man. Staying busy, Gino. What's up, Manny? Fuel House. What's up? Thanks for tapping in. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that share button on your channel. If you got a channel, hit the share button on your channel, man. Little, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, man. Where to start? Where to start? Sound like a busy one. Just been busy. I mean, that's the thing, though, man. Do we ever not have busy weeks? Like once you, I, in I wouldn't this, know what to do with myself. Yeah, once you in this, you're gonna be busy. Oh yeah, and you're gonna find something wrong with not being busy because you know there's something that you should be doing. Yeah, man, it's Mother's yeah. Day. <laughs> that's the worst. As soon as you try to relax, the only thing going through your head is what you should be doing while you're relaxing. Yeah, I, I feel like um, I feel great about what I do. But I oh, swear, yeah. this should take over my whole brain, man. Every fucking oh, yeah. breaking moment, I'm like, hey, what you think about doing this? I should pop these, huh? I should do this. Uh, Come help me do this real quick. Let's go over there. Like, man, it's just nonstop with me, man. But it's like, it's Never stop. It's wonderful. We bringing life, man. You, you yeah. crop, you're popping seeds. You're making life. You're watching the life grow. You're taking care of it. You know what I mean? And it's Master just- Mastering that craft. Yeah, man. Anybody who takes anything serious is going to do it as often as they possibly can. Yeah. And, yeah, and, it's, and it's all I'm ever thinking. Finally got the greenhouse up. That feels good. Yeah, man. You got a picture of it? Uh, picture yeah, up? Yes, actually. Can I pull it up here? Did you get those pictures I sent you? Uh, you know, email, click your email and uh, download them real quick to uh, put on because I just want to show the people how easy it is to make a little raised bed and shit and oh yeah yep i got i got makeshift beds in mine yeah it works yeah oh they, oh they're gonna they're gonna be hyping they see this yeah <laughs> clint oh, baker the... what's up with it uh man it's been a good uh, you said now. the beds uh yeah yeah that's fine you could put the beds up i just wanted to uh show y'all what i've been doing this only took a day but you know it's not it's not hard. It's really not hard. Nah. To go ahead and just throw some vegetation in your life. You know what I mean? And yep. boom. Made these hella quick, man. Just like the two by twos was just shit I had laying across the yard. One by two, one by um twelves from the store. Pretty cheap. Just um got some lavender there on the right. A couple of sunflowers in the middle. Um, and what's the next to it? I think that's another little lavender. And yeah, it it looks great. Yeah. And on the left, I think that's a mojito mint. Mojito mint. Yep. Yep. And this th these things right here, though, honestly, it takes over. Like, the mint is going to take over. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a gonna nice take ground over. cover. So it's going to be crazy in there, you know. But it's cool. You know, you got to do what you got to do. The best is going to be after it rains and you go back there and that's all you smell is lavender and mint. It's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I got big plans for this lavender and mint, man. Yeah, hey, if anybody in the chat knows something about a um a press, I this is my plan. I want to be able to like chop hella mint and press it into an oil. They got the machines where they make that super easy to do now. That's what I want. So if anybody knows a link or something, let me know or whatever. Because I'm looking, yep. I'm gonna be looking for that to make some oils and you know, you can spray your plants with that. You can mm -hmm. do a lot with the mint. It's a great ground cover for you. It's a great tea for you. Uh, good sinus medication for you. It's so many benefits for it. I don't get why every yard sinus? doesn't have it. Sinus? Yeah. Speak on that one time. Let me know. Well, yeah, you got to think about um, 
anything with that kind of scent, I got to find out what that terpene is. But even when you use Vicks, you notice it's a similar smell to mint. They usually oh, use yeah, eu eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is one of the more potent forms of, in the mint family. So you want to use something like that to open up the sinuses. So mint will work great for you. If you want to brew it in a tea, if you want to dry it out and crush it in, into pills, there's so many yeah, different ways you thing. can take so it. so much stuff I could do with it. So it's like, that's what I'm on now, man. I'm on. And then whatever you don't want with it, let it decay back into the ground and it'll feed the soil and make that better. So it, it's an all around win win situation when it comes to crops like that being in your garden. Yeah, yeah, Clinton, you're right. That's what I got it for, really. So if I got it for smell uh, and the pest deterrent, which is both the same shit. Yeah, and it's a super pest deterrent because uh, most of them are soft body insects. They got to breathe through the skin. You you don't want any astringent smell like that when it comes to you having to breathe through your skin. That yeah. shit, uh, just like Vicks again, you rub it on your skin and you see what it does to you. Imagine a soft body yep. insect. Yep. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, focusing, focusing on that. Uh, I don't have any vegetables in there right now because uh, I'm really focused on smell. I'm trying to not. I'm trying to be a nice neighbor. You know what I mean? If they smell, yeah. <laughs> if they can smell some mint and some lavender along yeah. with it, it's a good euphoric smells all around. And it is. It's a great. It's a great smell. Yeah. Yep. I uh, I use I use pretty much the same things because I got dogs. So you can't. It's not much you could do with the urine. Yeah. You, you can clean the shit all you want to wherever they piss though. You you're not gonna be able to do something. I found out another trick for that is bokashi. Yeah, I hear bokashi a lot, but what I don't know what it is, man. It's just like a whole. Bunch it's a of fermented. Uh, you take lactobacillus or uh molded milk in some way, shape, or form, some kind of molded dairy, and you inoculate bran wheat with it, and that inoculates your ground. You just got to be careful because it will attract fungus gnats because they feed off of the fungus that builds underneath it. That's the only thing I could comes to my mind when I hear bokashi. Just little. Yeah, flop. yeah. So, so you got to be careful with it. You gotta, you gotta layer it right. Yeah. That's a nice uh tapestry in the back. I love that, man. Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm addicted to elephants. I always <laughs> always got elephants around. Yeah. It's something powerful about them. They're one of the last living dinosaurs that we got, and their memory comes from their mother's 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 mother. If my like girl if my girl watching this, she's gonna trip out about that because she's yeah. said, <laughs> who said that's my spirit animal. Fucking my elephant. girl's a dolphin lover. She loves the dolphin. Yeah. Yep. Free spirited animals. But um, one thing I noticed is. We might see them extinct in our lifetime. What? Elephants. I, I try not to think about it. Yeah, <laughs> sad, no? I, I watch it too much, but I try not to think about it. Yeah. To think that some of the children in the future will have to look in the book and be like, hey, I wonder if my grandparents were around when these animals existed. Like, <laughs> Crazy, man. So a few, it's a few things like that we might, might see go away, man. Fucking... As humans, it's just crazy because we're smart enough to remake the material that we're killing them for. You guys want ivory. You know what the chemical compounds are to make ivory. Just lab make the ivory. Like, yeah. I think it's just something in human nature that's just destructive. Bro. Just destructive. It is. It's just destructive. man. So, and they think they're doing more by being more destructive. And but that's yeah, why I think I, the community is the best because cannabis, the only thing we're destructing is maybe uh, wasting water. Wasting yes. water in some bad ways, we get rid of our nutrients sometimes, and that that, yep. effect, that has its effects also. But for the yep. most part, we're not trying to go kill shit. No, we're not trying to go murder things, and like, no. it's just ridiculous, man. And then the more you start to care about cannabis, the more you start to care about everything nature related, because you know it goes two and two. Same way you're saying right now, pest control with the mint and the lavender, you got to live hand in hand with the plants. So. Yeah. Can cannabis just takes you down a whole different road to open you up to caring more about nature. So this community, we try to actually preserve nature as much as possible. Exactly. That's why we're the best, man. Or use nature against nature. Uh, I, one thing I noticed, though, the greenhouses, they are extra warm and humid. Like VPD is not an issue <laughs> inside of a greenhouse if it mattered. No. Nah. That that moisture builds in there, and it's definitely the after you water. After you water, if you get water in your greenhouse every day, perfect. It's perfect. 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 I let mine dry out sometime because you know it's just that's just dry backs, and it's not like uh, not super dry. But when it when it, like it could do so great if you just keep water on the plant in a greenhouse. If you oh, just yeah. water every single day, no matter what, you're gonna do fine. You're gonna do fine. Oh yeah. 
It's not like a inside where you wanted to drive back a certain thing and then do it. You could water that shit every day. It's going and the drive backs are completely fast. different under that open sun. The evaporation is completely yeah. different under that open sun. That's true. Also, Gino, we use a ton of plastic. A I was thinking about plastic. that about um all these fucking spaghetti strings and hoses I'm using because I'm getting rid of the hoses damn near every time, man. And that's yeah. terrible. That's, that's a terrible. lot of plastic going that's back somewhere. So yeah, man, I got to do better. I'm I'm focused on doing better. So, so now um, the the big room or what I call the big room, I think I'm going to stay with um, sixty plants and just set the system up to be a sixty site and never like don't fuck with it no more. Like don't keep replacing the hoses after every run, switching it up. Just do sixty sites. I might even do forty eight just to have space and everything around there because. I kind of like the 48. 48 is easy for me to like maneuver and 60 is kind of, it can get out of hand. It can mm -hmm. really get out of hand, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to make sure whatever's next, I'm going to keep, keep it like that for a while. Yep. And I might just eliminate all that shit and just go to tables and get some fucking, um, some bar style LEDs and turn them down and just do tables. And that way I'm really not buying no more of that shit unless it's for outdoor irrigation. Exactly. Exactly. Flood, flood and drain is the way. And you do save on a lot of plastics. You don't have to worry about clogging anymore. It's a, But this is the reason I think it's a good thing that hemp is going legal because we'll be able to start using hemp to create a whole lot of stuff. And it's biodegradable. So some of the things we're having issues with now, I guarantee you, they're going to find a way to make a hemp version of it. It grows faster, crops easier, less wasteful, and it's still durable. It's still strong. Yeah, we need to hurry up and get that. Get that. Oh out. yeah, the hemp industry is going to be big. Like a lot of people may just think CBD when they hear the hemp industry. They're not thinking clothing, uh, strings. Because I uh, think right now, like they're they're really focused on consumption. Like, oh, we are. can we can finally use cannabis for something, and they just really want to, you know, do something like that. But in the future, we are going to get into the industries with the hemp. We got. To. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and hemp is going to be the way of the future from concrete to everything. I, it's a lot about the switch over. I heard California is looking into going 100 percent electric on motor vehicles. Yeah, they're looking into going 100 percent electric. Hmm. It'll I mean, save a lot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to start looking like China after a while. A lot of people on like mopeds, bikes, uh, electric bikes, things like that. It's going to a lot more efficient. If you notice, they're making a lot more bike trails on the sides of the roads and and everything. They're they're yeah. trying to push people towards it right now. Yeah, you get the same place on a on a scooter or something. Cannabis is gonna go solar. They're gonna eventually get so good with solar, it's gonna be worth it. Oh, that's the new thing in California. Also, you build a new house, you gotta do solar panels. And why wouldn't you? You're in California. Like, you why wouldn't you? You live in Arizona, California, anywhere like all the sun. yeah, all Bullshit. the sun in the world, all the sun. Very few parts of California is really like forested in, right? Um, it's a lot of open yeah. fields because I tell you, I, I know a lot of grapes come yeah. from there, a lot of wine, so it got to be a, a lot, lot of open of fields. fields, a lot of fields, a lot of um, fucking, fucking uh, agriculture. Reuse that sunlight, hell yeah. San Diego open to smoke bars, huh? Oh, That's you dope. know, um. Man, I'm gonna let him talk about it next week. I ain't gonna say nothing about it. But uh, it's a county in California that like really don't care about cannabis. Like you pretty much, you pretty much pay some money and you you do what the fuck you want to do. Just do what you want. Yeah, yeah, that's how everything should be, and they should just set a tax on it. So if this is how much you want to grow, this is how much you're gonna pay in taxes. Make sure you file your taxes every year or face the repercussions. And I guarantee you, America would boom. Yep. I'm talking boom overnight. Hell yeah. Putting too much restriction on people, man. People don't like that. Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so many people could be taking care of themselves instead of having the government take care of them. The only reason that the government's taking care of them is because uh, financially people have problems. They can't take in their, their other people. This could fix it quickly. Mm hmm. But what about like, say everybody could be able to do their own thing and they could just like, but they'll never be able to sell cannabis legally. They won't. It's too that much makes it a money. tough market. It's too much money in that. Yeah, you know? that, that makes it a tough market because hey, that's what they're going through now. You can't really bank it. I, nope. would, I would hate to be a dispensary owner right now. I'm not going to lie. You're just a sitting duck that's to the right idiot. 
Yeah, you just a sitting duck to the right idiot. Credit unions allow it though. Also, oh, through the credit unions, you can you can credit bank them. Unions, up. You know, they do their own thing. That's a community based bank, so they kind of okay. Like, yeah, we could do cannabis accounts as long as you got your right paperwork. As long as you got your okay. paperwork illegal, you can have a bank account. Okay, that's dope. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do do me one favor. Just take over for one second. I ain't got nothing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, big moves coming up. San Diego going to be in the map. Yeah, San Diego. I I don't know too much about it, man. Go ahead and speak. To, uh, let me know what you're talking about. The San Diego being open, they got better um better laws for cannabis cultivation or what? There's only one smoke bar in LA now. San Diego approved smoke bars. Okay, so you're talking about new uh, businesses, basically. But how does smoke bar? How's the smoke bar going to work? Is it going to have to have a special license, like to to provide the cannabis? Because you know you got to become a salesman now. So is that kind of like being a dispensary also with a smoke bar? Like how is that going to um, how is that going to work? Imagine how much money is buried in the woods and the desert that the big banks want to deposit it yeah it's a lot of cash out there man and that shit gonna be useless pretty soon there's not enough lithium in the world to make batteries for everyone to have electric cars yeah i believe that also it's you know you got a unique cobalt and um cobalt cobalt is what's used to make the batteries and it's not it's not enough it's a lot but man you just digging a fucking hole in the earth for real for real it's going to be like an alcohol bar, but for smoking. That sounds interesting, though. I wonder how much. Um, I wonder how much that license will cost for something like that, like to be able to do that. Because then you're still going to have to go through distributors to get your cannabis and all that type of stuff. Dispensary on one side, smoke bar on the other. So yeah, it's like a dispensary. That's going. It's not going to be too many because it's so so damn expensive, man. Coffee shop, yeah. Dope. What county in California don't trip? Uh, we're gonna talk about it next week with our guest, uh, Black G. Black G gonna be on here next week from Black Diamond Genetics, and he can explain how it works out there where he's at. I want him to uh him to explain it because I'll, I'll fuck it up. I don't be remembering stuff that good, so you know how that shit is. Catfish Capone, yo, what's up, yo? That's what he's saying, yo. Hey, um, what y'all think the future? What y'all think the future gonna be like? Like when digital money takes over, like when the dollar is gone and the digital money takes over, like how is it going to be? How you how, how is this shit going to work? man? How's it going to work? Did y'all peep the Sasquatch show? I seen that on my line, man. How is it? And I don't like clicking on stuff like that because it's like, ain't no fucking Sasquatch, man. If you think it's a Sasquatch, you tripping, man. Ain't no damn Sasquatch. Black Diamond Genetics family in the building. Lil Willie, for sure. Y'all people to about Mendo. Oh, it's Mendocino County about the Sasquatch. I watched that then. The poverty line is going to be pushed even further down because of people that depend on cash transactions. Well, like, it'll be different. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not going to be an absolute hurry up and switch immediately. You know, it's going to be like, it's going to be a lot of... um inflation first oh yeah you see that happening right now with the lumber and all the materials plastic materials all materials are high everything is high right now and what's going on if they still see their sales at the same amount they're gonna keep that shit high that means the people got the money to spend on it yeah they're gonna keep if it the high. people are like man i really don't want to pay this but if then that's I what it have- is i will pay it they yeah. know okay they got the money I uh, deal with a lot of type seven extraction facility and they on top of the new regulations. So new things about to go down. They want the money. Oh yeah. How big do you think extracts will be in the future? Huge. Think so? Yeah. Cause a lot of the new people are not like us. We like, we come from the era of breaking down, rolling up. Yeah. So we're used to doing that. Like mm-hmm. me, like I'm used to, I was used to doing that. You know what I mean? And, and then, um, then gummies came out and I just love fucking gummies, man. I can't get enough of it. 
So I that's that's from an extraction point of view. You know what I'm saying? It is. So it's like if that never got introduced, then I would still be breaking down, rolling up. But now that they're making it easier to digest, like you could pop a pill and be fucking fine in 30 minutes. Hey, it's gonna just gonna get more and more, man. It's gonna be a lot. Oh yeah, but well, I don't like pills. I don't like none of that. I prefer to just roll something. But again, there's a lot of people who ain't like that. I know dabs and stuff still ain't big in my area. But see, like, you prefer to roll because that's what you grew up on. Yeah. And you like the breaking down of flour. It's the it's the um the ha- habitual nature of it. Like mm-hmm. break it down, roll it up, lick it. You know what I mean? What I'm not it? noticing a lot of the young people, like even in videos or whatever, I'm not seeing a lot of people with dab rigs and <laughs> I'm still not seeing I see it. That. I don't see that. But yeah, a lot of tapes, yeah. tapes are still, I can't say that. I don't see they got co- they got commercials now that says if you're addicted to your vape, call this number and we'll we'll get you straight afterwards. I'm like addicted to vapes that quick. How does that work? It, I didn't even think it's been out long enough for people to actually be addicted to it at this point. They making up shit. Yeah, you got to remember that too. That people be making up shit. Man. Yeah, anything to make it look bad. Because there's some people who, no matter what, still want to stop this from happening. Really big, you know, solvent was picking up fast in the city. I remember uh, Subcool saying that he would rather uh, do flower runs than extract runs because it just took too long on the return for extracts. He yeah, just they, like, when he we said talk, it wouldn't take a lot at a time. Yeah, just like when we talk, like the market for extracts is not, it don't move like flower, man. Mm-mm. Flour just. People picked. will take a lot of flour with a little bit of extract to go with it. They usually won't take a lot of extract with a little bit of flour to go with it. I see the concentration a lot. It's a big and expensive community. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't see it a lot because I'm just not in that community. And that's yeah, why no. I want to start getting my shit together as far as my own strains and my own marketing and start going to these sessions so I could see what the people are really into. I don't really see what the people are doing. You know what I'm saying? For me, the most part, they they were rolling up still. Everybody I see, they're still just rolling up. But um, I want to see what the people on the street really doing. So I'm going to start going to sessions. Man. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm out here. And even at these places, I don't see much extract. You'll see some moon rock here and there, maybe a little bit of shatter, uh, maybe some diamonds here and there. But it's never a lot of it. You'll see a big ass jar of flowers and a couple of little containers of some extracts because they don't I guess they don't plan on moving a lot of extract. Yeah, yeah. It's an expensive market, too. You got to be able to afford something like that. Yeah. Some of those extracts are super expensive. Prepare to fuck with extracts. Yeah, you got to have money for the extracts, man. Yeah. Talking we about uh, like- I extracted some of the Brisker OG, the Poly Shore, and the ice cream cake. Oh, yeah? Yeah, all of the flowers gone. Still got the extracts. Still got the extracts. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And how does that move? Like just fucking grams, ounces? Like usually, usually grams. Okay. Most people take grams. Every now and then you'll get people who want to A for or, or something. Or maybe I'm just not in the right market, but that's younger community. That's just what they want. They'll take a little bit and they just want the flower. Black folk ain't really rocking with it. That's true. Um, they don't, you know, but, but you got to notice people, that most black folks don't like anything that's pipe related uh, in any way. I'm surprised, man. Yeah, traumatized from, from the pipe culture. So yeah. I, I'm not a bong or bowl person. I, I don't like them. I don't like the way it looks. I don't I don't like smoking out of pipes, period. But like you said, this could just be trauma from so many years of thinking pipe is related to something bad. Yeah, I used to smoke out of the pipes and bongs. And I, I liked it just because I could just get it done real quick. And it's just like take a couple of hits and I'm cool, put it down, come back later, whenever. But it's like every time I put my lips to it, I did not like it. Yeah, I did not it, like it. it's just something in my head. Like, man, I, I ain't feeling this like that. Yep. And I try not to bring up the differences all of the time, but uh, some things are just unavoidable. Yeah, and that's another thing, it's Chef. A different like, culture. It said twelve hundred dollar rigs and up. Like I be seeing fucking fuck out rigs for like thousands of dollars. I'm like, damn, is it that serious? But I'll I, go to the HLG website and get some lights before I spend that shit on a bong. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's two lights right there. That yo, I'll <laughs> be on the HLG website. They they got anything refurbished still? They still. <laughs> Let me throw a couple extra lights up. Hell yeah. Yeah, but uh, but again, it's for upper class, upper class. 
I'm, yeah, I'm people, with money, people with money and have a ritual. You know, like when a uh, half bait came out and they all had the bong and they sit down and that's that's kind of cool though. You know what I mean? Because it's like they that's their ritual. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But it's it's not for everybody. It's a it's a space in this thing for everybody, man. Some people like it. Some people just don't. Some people just yep. like smoking. Because some of my family chal- chalice or nothing like the heavy Jamaican chalice or nothing. They're, if it ain't a chalice, they're not going to smoke out of it, period. In any way, yeah. shape or form. Yeah. When they, even when they come here, they still chalice. They don't they're going to bring it with them. They gonna- <laughs> it's a ritual, though. Or they'll come here and make one. One, one or they the other. For thing. a reason, right? That's like a religious thing, ain't it? The chalice. Yes, yeah, it's, it's natural. It's smoking something natural out of something made natural. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like, so it, it means a lot to them. It's a yeah. huge difference. They don't like papers. I they don't care how natural the papers are. Papers not natural to them. Like yeah, you got to kill a tree to get the papers. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So with the chalice, it's just made out of like wood, like hollow um, out. It depends on who you run into, what they make it out of. What have you seen? Um, I've bamboo normally. Bamboo. Okay. I've seen I've seen bamboo, wood. Um, they they use it. They got trees we don't have up here, so so they're able to get to wood that we we don't really know much about. Mm-hmm. I've seen it made out of calabash. Um, it's a fruit, kind of like a coconut. It's, it's like with, oh, when that's the bowl. The, when yeah. you see the bowls, those are calabash bowls. Yeah, so they calabash. usually make them out of that. It's, that's a pull that up so so we can show the people. Right. Yeah, because I want to see. I want to see what that is. Yeah. Yeah, so that's normally what they're using. And these things don't grow up here, so most people don't get a chance to get familiar with them. But here I it mean, is in a raw it. form. Hold on one second. Show it in a raw form, and then I'll show you how they make the bowls out of it. Okay. Boom. Boom. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. this green thing right here. And then you'll see people use it to make almost everything. Yeah, that's the look of it. So that's a fruit. Yeah, that's a fruit. Hmm. What have yeah, you, you can... ever tasted it? Yeah. And what, what kind of it was like a honeydew kind of taste? Kind of mixed with like a custard apple. A custard apple. Yeah, well, boom. I need to that's try what the inside is like. It's kind of like a custard apple. How you eat it? It looks like some ice cream right there. Like some you can you can like uh spoon it out. Okay, Calabash. But some, it, sometimes there's so much of it that they just wanted to make bowls, so they'll just empty that out or feed it to the to the livestock or whatever. Okay, because it grows crazy. Yeah, At hell least, yeah. So these they big, grow wild. The ones that say Planet Calabash, go back down. Go back down. They get that big right there with the women holding them on, on their head. The Planet Cal right there, uh, right there. Oh yeah. They get that big. Or they might be putting a few of them together. I don't know. Because when you find them in the wild, some of them are huge. Like, you got to think jackfruit. Jackfruit's massive. Really? You never seen jackfruit? I've seen it, but I haven't seen it massive. Like I seen. Oh, it. my. Jackfruits are huge. Huge. It's the biggest fruit in the world. Oh. Yeah, they, they get big, gigantic. Dang. Like, if... If one fell out of a tree, it could kill you. Man, I got pine cones around me like that. Yeah, here we go. That's huge. Yeah. If you if you're gonna ever get a jackfruit, get the orange one. This one. That's the this one. This is what they that's what they synthesize to make um juicy fruit gum. Really? They synthesize the flavor from the orange jackfruit. Which one they use to make tacos and shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, but that's the biggest fruit in the world. So, yep, you can grow hundreds of pounds. Some of them you'll get is an easy 30, 40 pounds. And they don't stop growing. They just keep on. They just keep kinda going. Like, kind of like a um, like a squash or something like that. Just keep yes. on blowing up and blowing up. They just keep going. Yep, so things like that are good to have. But yeah, that's yeah, but that's normally what they smoke out of the calabash. So they'll take bamboo to make like the pipe out of it, and then they'll carve a hole into the calabash, stick it in it, find a way to seal it, and boom, that's what they're using. Okay. That's dope. They won't fuck with no extracts either. Don't even ask them. 
See, I like that part when people could just take nature and build what they need. Just use the land, man. All these factories and pollution is just destroyed. Not needed. Not needed. Not needed. But but it is. It's not needed, period. But it's just yep. a market for stupid shit. For dumb stuff. And people just want to buy stupid shit all the time, man. I need a new kitchen set every two months. Then you got people who make calabash bowls that use them for years at a time until they decide they want a new one. And there's nothing wrong with it. Bowl cup, they use it for everything. Works just fine. Dog bowl, everything. Gotta take cold. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shout out to him. I seen somebody say the right thing. I started my food forest. That's what the. Good job, man. Great That's job. what the fuck I'm talking about. That's what I'm on, too, man. I'm about to. Oh, get yeah. That. Got mine started. Uh, he probably lives somewhere where he could get a better one than I can, though. Yeah, <laughs> I still got to deal with winter. I wish I lived somewhere a little bit yeah, more tropical. You, you got to deal with winter, man. That shit is just. Yep. But, so, so most of the months out the year, you ain't growing shit unless you got a greenhouse. Well, now you got a greenhouse. Yep. And you know, I'm going to figure out by the wintertime how to heat it. You know, I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's my, it's, um, propane heater. I can do that, too. Yep. Yep. Propane heater. Shit. CO2 burner. <laughs> I have a CO2 burner. I don't know about them. I'm scared of CO2 burners. It just sounds dangerous to me. I don't know. It just sounds hella dangerous. When I see him, I'll be like, that shit. Like it's like it. a propane heater. Yeah, but I had a propane heater and I was scared of that shit. But when I used it, I was like, oh, this ain't shit. It's easy. Yeah, no. It's easy. Uh, what, what a CO2 burner is, is the eye on your stove. That clicking you hear when it comes on is the same clicking you hear on your stove. Gotcha. It's the same thing. Okay. So basically, it just burns and the off gas of it burning is co2 so it takes the butane burns it and the off gas of burning that is co2 okay yeah he basically barely get below 40 yet so it's a couple it's trees he can get mississippi. away with that i can't mississippi yeah that he could he can get the mangoes he can get he could squeeze a lot of things in yeah man you know what i don't see out here i don't see nobody growing lemons out here i don't see no lemon trees no orange trees none of that shit out here and I'm like, why? And I'm thinking it get too cold, but my boy was telling me that it got to get like 20 degrees and shit to really fuck up the uh, lemons and oranges. Yeah. And it don't get nowhere like that. The lowest it get is about 30. You know what I mean? Yep. If it gets 25, that's one day. That's it. That's just But you got to remember, desertification is a bitch. So there's parts of California that maybe before you would have been able to get away with growing those that you can't get away with now. Or if you're a really good grower, you can still grow them. I don't know why people don't, but if you're I'm a good try. grower, you could do it. I'm going to try because I'm going to get on that site that we was talking about, uh, fast, fast, fast growing, growing trees. trees. Yeah, and order some uh, grafted lemon, some Myers lemon, and some oranges. I want that shit around, man. I disagree with this statement. Yeah, I disagree. I disagree with this statement. I know people who have lived hundreds of years smoking cigarettes. The hell, the hell with weed. <laughs> yeah, smoking cigarettes. But I weed. get what you're saying though, because smoke is smoke. You know what I mean? And smoke. Is, yeah, no matter what, it's, it shouldn't be ingested. I don't see. Definitely, I get what he's saying. I get what okay. he's saying. I can agree with that. Cannabis. I never seen no lung cancer. I never seen no kind of problems. It helps with asthma. Cancer. That's when my boy had asthma, and um, yeah. he started smoking. That shit just disappeared. Yeah, Dr. Sebi did too. Dr. Sebi had asthma and when he was little. His grandfather told his grandmother to give him some cannabis and he never had to deal with asthma again afterwards. Miracle. Yeah. And he, he was at an age that in America, uh, his parents would have went to jail, jail. Not yeah. regular jail. They went to jail, jail for, yeah. <laughs> for the age he was at. But he lived in uh, Salvador, I believe. Was it? Yeah, I think he lived in Salvador, somewhere in South America. It wasn't it Cuba? It wasn't Cuba? No, it's somewhere in South America. Honduras. Honduras, yeah, Honduras. Honduras, yeah, he's from Honduras. Your lung repair itself, dust is worse than smoke. I believe that dust is bad, man. Yeah, I believe that too. Dust is definitely you know, worse than smoke. I've been looking for some fucking goggles because my eyes just like attract dust for some reason. Oh, man. Trebinsky came out with the fucking 
best thing you can get grow glasses goggles all infused in one man i'm like bro i would pay anything for those like i need them so bad you do not understand like i have an <sighs> issue with that shit for real it's like it's like i hate my eyes bro. it's like my <laughs> eyes. like oh it does come here get in here it's crazy man so that that's dope um Yo, what what okay, what what is the difference? I thought Central America would be Mexico. Central America is so South America is split into two different portions. So there's South Mexico, America, then Central, Central America, America, then South. Yeah, Central America. That's like between um South America and North America. So that'd that's be Mexico. Like lower, it'd be like lower Mexico and um Panama, I think. Is Panama Central? I don't know, man. Some like that. Some place yeah. I ain't never been. I never been there. I don't know. What up, everybody? I see y'all coming in. Yeah, I ain't never been there either. Mexico. Mexico it makes sense. So it's Mexico, considered yeah. central. Yeah, that should be because that's the only thing between it, right? Yeah. Mexico and all the other stuff. Yeah, because like I know Mexico got a wall that stops South America. So after Mexico is considered South America. Because Mexico definitely got a wall. What, at the bottom of it? Yeah, to stop South Americans from just sneaking into Mexico. Wow. Yeah, I already know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The people are like, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I grow fig trees in the winter. Lucky you. Oh, you take them in the winter. Yeah, like the uh, lemons and oranges and shit is like a winter fruit. That picks in the winter, don't it? Uh, yeah, like Novemberish, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try it, man. I'm gonna try to get this land behind me, man. I swear, I'm gonna preserve all the trees that's there, but I'm gonna clear out all the weeds and everything else and just start fresh and grow hella shit. People are gonna be trying to climb over and still shit. It's gonna be so much stuff back there. Oh yeah, you you you're not even gonna be able to notice. What you mean? You're gonna oh, have so much. Like, in, yeah, you're not yeah, even gonna. You're not gonna notice. What the dogs gonna know? Yeah, because most people who see stuff like that, they're not exactly greedy. They'll come like, "Hey, I know where we can get an apple from." Yeah, let's you grab an apple. Four of them, five of them. It's good, man. I ain't tripping. Yeah, Please. you're gonna have so much of it. You ain't gonna know what to do. I leave yeah. fruits for at for uh all the animals and everything. It's no way I'm gonna harvest all of this. I plan on having a lot of it, man. A Me lot too. Of I'm talking about. I'm, I'm spending a lot of money on these on these trees, man. Cause I, I I need it, we need it. The food the security, we need it. You know what I mean? I want to be a blessing to my neighborhood. You know what I mean? Bring them a little box every month and some different shit and just. See, my goal was I right. know, I know, not far from me. There's a lot of kids. They can't go apple picking. It's 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 such a far trip. Their parents don't got cars. You remember so if, that? Yeah. If the school you don't take them going down through the neighborhood and just hopping over a fence and getting some fruit. Like I, I remember to, pears growing fruit, wild on my streets. Fruit. Yeah. I remember walking down my street and there's a pear tree just right there. Just literally you walking down the street, you go underneath a tree, you look up and it's pears. Every, you can smell them like you can smell them rotting on the ground after they fall. And then little by little, they just disappeared. So yeah. I want to give that back. I want to be able to take all the kids who can't afford it to go to those food forests to come. Come here. You can climb trees and pick jackfruits and all sorts of shit. That's why I want to move eventually somewhere where I could do it on a bigger scale. Yeah. Because it's profitable and, too. And for that reason alone, it's worth moving. Like just to, yeah. like I said, just to be a blessing to a community, man. Just fuck with the kids, man. Just show them something oh, different. Yeah. So I'm looking at my son and I'm like, man, you lucky. Like you get you to lucky. dirt and just pick, like have fun. Like it's just, you get to dope. be a kid again. Because the city is trash, man. Oh like, man, they grow up, they grow up so quick. By the time they're five, they're 30. Yeah, man. It's just, crazy that's why all the toy stores is gone frosty looks just like my box i don't know what that means the forest department has a agroforestry grant where they will match calls for food forests for education so basically if we teach people about the food forest it can offset some of our fees i guess so That's fire. That's an that's an initiate right there. That'll definitely make you want to do it if you didn't before. Mm -hmm. Do beehive and make 
mead and blend tincture with it. Make mead and blend tincture with it. Yeah, I don't know. Have Have you ever gotten into the tinctures and stuff? No. Nah. I like the, none of the extract stuff. I ain't. Can of caps. That's one I like. I, I will say that's one extract I like. You make those, right? Yeah. Extract yeah. it in the coconut oil and, and take them like that. Those ones I do like. Take two if you want to have fun. Take three if you want to have a lot of fun. Really? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun have, dreams? Oh, you're going to have some very vivid dreams. Like very that. vivid. Your dream is going to be a super reality that night. And you're going to be deep in that sleep. So hopefully it ain't a bad dream because you ain't getting out of it. <laughs> Knocked out. Oh, yeah. You out cold. But you feel great when you wake up. You ain't yeah. really hung over or nothing. You you wake up good. Yeah, you see Unlike see. edibles. Edibles, it's worse when you wake up. I don't care what no one says. You eat that edibles all true. sleep and that it's worse true. when you wake up. That is true. I had, and, but it's not true. It depends what company made the edibles because I noticed. I got a, I got some edibles from one company. Gave me a fucking headache in the morning. I'm talking about a headache. Oh like, yeah, damn. Like I couldn't shake it. Like oh yeah. yeah. And then my other ones, fine, no, no issue at all. And it happened to my my woman also with that brand. So mm -hmm. it was brand. You know what it's, I mean? Uh, it comes down to sugar balance. That's what I noticed about it. That that sugar is gonna compete with the cannabis. It's, it's like taking a volume and taking a Xanax. You're taking something that's going to lift you, the sugar, and then you're taking something that's trying to put you down. That's the cannabis. And when they fight against each other, you wind up with the headache from it afterwards because they overdid it on the on, on the sugar. Most people don't even factor that in when it comes to making edibles, the sugar to cannabis ratio. Yeah, that's probably, what it is. Sugar. It's probably what it is. Go to sleep and wake up like you just oh, your man. body don't know what to do. Yeah. So now it's stressed and you wind up with the head with the headache from it afterwards. Frosty on my seeds, pop 100. Good work, props. Same yeah. here. Shout out to Frosty McNouse. Mine did too. That's what they're supposed to do. Hell yeah. And they look That's great. What they they're supposed to do, man. They came up strong too. They ain't come up playing no games. Like yeah. they, <laughs> they came straight up. I can't wait. Looking forward to that big boom. Yeah. Yeah. Even the name got a good ring to it. I, I run with that. Yeah, for real, man. Tables is always the way. My bad. Hold on. I'm just doing something. No, do you think? Yeah. Getting ready for our guest. We got Grow God coming on in about seven minutes. Okay. We got the... Um... Stuff ready and shit. Oh yeah, big boom. Yeah, big boom is gonna be that. If you're looking for yield and terps and just flavor, gas, it should check. It should check about if it's ten boxes. I guarantee it to check eight boxes. Oh you yeah, I mean? it'll check eight boxes if you got. And 10 you can boxes. see I'm not the only person looking forward to it. Everybody, big boom. Yeah, that sound like it could hit like the Pluto, the run. So it got that ring to it. I'm telling you, run with it. Yeah, big boom is gonna hit. And wait till you got them big boom crosses. The names you're gonna come up with is gonna yeah, be I'm crazy. Keeping, um, yeah, I'm about to uh I'm about to go ahead and pop mine too. I got the ICC Tom Sherb and Tom's 33 minutes popped. The cereal milk popped, everything is up in the cereal milk motherfuckers. Them them motherfuckers like a foot tall already, but like mm. no plan. It ain't no Good. plan. That means you've been keeping up on the grow too. Yeah. Yeah, if they grow on like that, that means you've been doing the damn thing. Oh, somebody was asking, uh, what can you say about Big Boom? Oh, I just said it, man. Oh, I just said geez, it. If, it's 10 boxes, if you got 10 boxes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit eight. I would say to hit all 10, but everybody's boxes be different. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to put too much on it, but the lineage and the fucking, just the stack and structure of her is just, Immediate, just boom, 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 boom. Like you just gonna, you gonna like that, man. Yep, set set up for that structure right away. Mm -hmm. Mega crop works. Mega crop is great. Mega crop is great. That was that uh, all in one nutrient you were using. Yep. Keeps the plants really green and healthy throughout their lifetime. Uh, the only thing about mega crop flush for two weeks for sure. Because okay. It still has a lot of the nitrogen. You still get nitrogen throughout the whole run, so it'll okay. keep the plants really green. 
So when it comes to the end, go ahead and give him just flush him for two weeks, and you you'll be just fine. And Mega Crop is great. I'm actually I actually will continue to use Mega Crop if I do flood tables because it's just simple and it fucking works. It works. And add some Epsom salt into it also. You might not need to, but ju- I just do it cautionary because yep. it, it, it always helps. It's hard to reverse the problems when you don't do it. Like once those stems turn purple and the leaves start turning yellow, it, those everything about that's done. The new growth will come in and you can take that off later, but they're, they're never going to revert back afterwards. So I try to just keep up on the Epsom salt. Yeah. I missed the 33 minutes. Um, um, I'll go through more seeds as time goes by. You know, it's still more. It's just a lot of work to get through shit. And I'm pretty sure I could find about at least seven, eight more packs out of them. But, um, you know, just stay tuned. Stay, just stay tuned. tuned. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, let's go ahead and do a five minute and we'll be back with Grow Guy. Let's go. <laughs> Grow God, you there? My bad. Didn't have him turned up. Oh. How you doing, man? Good, man. Good. Just got done cooking some dinner. Chilling. Just turned the, uh, the show on right now. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We got Grow God in the building. What up with you, man? Not much, man. Just chill it. I appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, man. You grow a showcase, yeah. man. You're doing your thing in the garden, man. We got to get Watch. you on. Got to get you on, share your story a little bit, man. Will you um, go ahead and introduce yourself to the rest of the people? Tell them who you is, what you do, and what the what you, uh, what you, what you love what you love about this shit, man. Yeah, I'm a grow guy. You know, I'm originally from Florida, and um, now I'm just trying to keep pushing, keep going forward, get bigger at this thing. Man, I'm seeing this. Uh, I, man, I really see this as being a whole trade in the future. So I'm really trying to capitalize on it now, while you know it's still early in the game. Well, relatively early, not for someone like you and Cali, but you know, but it's like on the East Coast. Yeah, it's still early to me too, though, man. I'm only six years in. I, um, I've been around it all my life, but, you know, like finally being able to be in a place to get down, it's only been six years. So 
we all coming up right now. We all figuring it out right now. Little kind of a little too late, but we're gonna we gonna, we gonna maneuver it to our favor. I we wish I'd have got in out. earlier too. We're gonna figure it yeah. out. Yeah. So that, that's the part I love about being so illegal. My bad. What was you saying? No, finish. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, that's the part I love about being so illegal. Like all of this that's going on right now, just being able to talk to other people about it. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So what what made you start growing in the first place? <laughs> Man, so I'm just I'm chilling with my people and you know, you know, from down south that you know the main thing is go to Cali, find a plug, go to Cali, find a plug. You know what I'm saying? And the thought just came to me one day like, so why don't y'all start growing the shit? Like why y'all like you don't have to go all the way across the country, start growing the shit. We capable of that shit too. Nigga, you crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And I just started that shit. And I literally, like, taught myself. You remember them old forums that used to be on the internet? Yeah. Hell yeah. That, yeah, I had to, you know, when I had problems, I didn't have no one to ask, like, hey, man, what do I do? I had to go search through them motherfuckers and find my answer and then trial and error. That's that shit. That's, that's, the, that best, shit. that's the best way to learn if you ask me. And you no you got to go through the mud first. The growers that come from yeah. that forum, those There's are the a gang of knowledge. Those the ones, man. They dedicated. dedicated. They're the ones we trying to get on this show so we could pick their brain about some stuff. You got to think we wouldn't know nothing about no hops late in our, our broad mites if it wasn't for the growers back then that were experiencing these problems that could bring that information now. Like we know what that damage is. We know what that bug is. We we fought it before. Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah. So what was the first grow like? Man, the first girl was fucking horrible. Everything died. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. The one, hey, the second one, too. I didn't even know what the fuck the problem was. I was trying to figure that shit out. Let me you ask you. Saying, but, did you. Did you start dude. by seed or clone? Nah, shit. I started by seed. Where the hell am I getting clone from? <laughs> did, it, did, it, did it grow up? Did it grow up tall and just fall over? Nah, that shit. Man, that shit didn't get no bigger than like five inches. <laughs> See, I, I was one of them new growers that just was super over ambitious, and I started uh, deep water culture for my first fucking grow, and just. that shit was just <laughs> no, no, that shit went so sideways. <laughs> like look at that. You know, I can, See all the shit that went wrong. <laughs> I thought I was on to something. <laughs> Yo, that's how I started growing too. My very first grow was DWC. I went straight in, twelve feet Man. head first, and ain't never swam before. <laughs> <Straight> <laughs> behind, <bro. laughs> right in deep end. <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. So, uh, what? When did you realize this? This is what I want to do. Um. When I moved to Vegas, yeah, mm. when I moved to Vegas, I was doing HVAC and I was um, doing this. And, um, you know, I wasn't, we're talking a good two and a half years before I made a dollar off this. You know what I'm saying? So I was Stay doing HVAC and doing this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on and off and, you know, times I wouldn't even have a spot to do it at. You know, I had to get back right, all that shit. So that's why I got my trade because, you know, that's what I had to fall back on. That's a great but, trade, uh, though. Oh yeah, man, and it goes hand in hand too. Ain't that for sure? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it was meant <laughs> I to love be. It. I, yeah, I do all my um HVAC work. Do my friends HVAC work? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I like about it. Now my friends that live close by that's on the same shit. Like, oh, don't worry about. It. I'll throw that three ton in. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. You know but, what? Uh, yeah, I was in Vegas. Hmm. No, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say it was in Vegas, and I had some wedding cake and blue cookie. It's on my page still. Like, you got to scroll down. But I had some wedding cake and blue cookie. And that shit can't. That's the first time I bought clothes right there, too, when I got to Vegas. And that shit came out so fucking fire. And I had just added CO2. And I had just got that troll master. And I had pulled down, like, 4.8 pounds out of a tent. And I was only getting, like, 1.5 before. And I remember it was me and my girl in the bathroom, and I looked out, I was counting that money. I looked out, I said, Yeah, this could be it. <laughs> <laughs> this could be it. <laughs> this this could be life. So the troll master, this is very this is fairly new then, huh? 
Yeah. What was this yeah. a couple years ago? Yeah. Uh, within the last year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You stuck with it, went through all the failures because that's what happens, man. And this shit, you got to fail to learn. You got to fail to learn. Yeah. Like, it's hard for somebody to come in here and just start killing and crushing shit. Like, that's not really, it don't really work like that. You got to have a sponsor and a teacher. Um, yeah. 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 And a lot of us had to learn without somebody that, that could show us the way. But did you say you were involved in extracts first? No, HVAC. Oh, HVAC. My bad. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the wedding cake and the blue cookies was the game changer for you. Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah. And before it, before then, yeah, exactly. That's why I go so hard on genetics now. Yeah, you spend the money on them if you need. If you want with that, if you want it, you got to spend the money for it. Facts. You can't play no yeah. games. You can't go to no chicken shit ass dispensary and they got some ugly ass looking clones and it's just some basic shit. You can't put that in your grow. I did that for a fucking year. I made money off of it, but it it, it's, it made me suffer. And that's when I said, fuck it. Here go two G's. Here go two G's. Here go two G's. Go yep. ahead and give me the right shit. Then it's just up from there. It's you up. Get the right genetics, man. It's up. Yeah, I, it's up. I failed my first like three or four grows. And you know what? The plants look good. The buds look good. The genetics were just horrible. So first chance that I got with some good genetics, it changed everything for me. I'm like, I knew I could do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Right. You just yeah. have that aha moment. Oh, quick. Yeah, for real. And the yep. right genetics will give you that aha moment. So I see you got a beautiful setup in general. But uh, let's start from veg. What is like your veg regimen? And here's Hold on, the I can't stress. I can't stress enough the people in here. The right genetics, man, it does it for you. Oh, like, man. You, like, OK, yeah. so I was thinking to me in my head, like, damn, maybe I'm just not good at this shit. You know what I mean? It was, I was doubting myself. But then I thought about like, but that one is perfect. It's yeah. the fucking genetics. It's just the genetics. That's what it is. You got to find a genetic supplier and build a great relationship and go go to the top. Go to the top. And don't be afraid to shell yeah. out the money for it. I'm, I'm telling you it's worth it. You'll make it back tenfold. Just go ahead and chalk it up. You know, he said something, though. But he said something else, too, that relationship. Yes. Big on that. That's very a, big on that. that. That's, a, that's important, too, because if... You ain't got no relationship with certain people. I mean, shit, the money ain't even going. They ain't even gonna get it for you. They ain't, like, nah, you can't even get it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or you wind up not having access to certain shit that you would have had you built a better relationship with the guy with the genetics. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because now, now I got a relationship to where a five thousand dollar cut, I can get that for eighty percent off. You know what I'm saying? It's like because he know because he know value I'm customer. Right, I'm gonna do right with it. It's gonna be and I'm here. You know what I mean? When I say I got it, it's there. It go, you got it. Come on, let's go. And right. it's just it's this great relationship. So it's like even even if you don't have a relationship with the cut guy, have a relationship like me and Beast got, like me and my other partners got. What we could, what you doing? What you got, man? I got this one. It's it's, it's booming. And send me one. I send, bet. Let me get that. Yep. <laughs> and then I, get three, then I get three of them yeah. in there. You know what I mean? And then he, he sent me three cuts. Now I got three moms to get it done faster. You yep. know what I mean? And that's relationships yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's that's how I originally met Grow God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Def- definitely I, hooked it up. Like, um, I just go got. Ahead. I just got that garlic cane. Okay, that's an in house. You seen that? Yeah, that's from in house. Yeah, in house put out fire. I got the, yeah, I got a cut of it. I got the in house cake and creams going now. That pancake mix. Okay. In house been putting out some fire. They always do, man. Yeah, yeah that's they stepped like it up. Punches from in house. That yeah, bitch, they, that they bitch just grew so crazy, man. I was like, God damn, this is in house doing. I'm talking about putting out yeah. fire. <laughs> I think I say I tell people all the time I feel like he underrated. People Definitely. don't talk about him enough. What for in-house genetics? Yeah. Like I put him up there with C junkie and shit. Honestly. I don't know what the deal is. 
I don't know what the deal is because when I first got in the game, that's all I wanted. But they shit was so high, and I didn't want to spend the money. But when I finally did spend the money, I was like, I see what's so going on. So they a little expensive? I mean, not you talking about Sea Junkie or in house? Uh, in house. In house, not that bad. Oh, okay. Now that I'm in the game, Sea Junkie was normal price right. when I first started getting from Sea Junkie. Well, like one fifty. Yeah, roughly around that yeah. hundred, hundred fifty. And uh, in house, <laughs> in house was like three hundred. In house was like three hundred at that time, though. Oh yeah. Yeah, so they don't came down. Yeah, yeah. In house was high, huh. man. That mean they stepping up production. Yeah, man. Stepping oh, up. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so f- for your setup, let's start with veg because your veg room, well, your veg runs be looking amazing. We got one pulled up on the screen right now. So, uh, wh- what's oh, your man, you see the screen? Yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, okay, just make it show. So, so, what's what's your method for vegging and getting results like this? It's really simple. Um, I I use LED, so I got the temperature at about eighty degrees. The humidity about sixty, and I use Floor Flex B one B two CalMag. That's it. Now you don't use Epsom. You just use CalMag. Yeah, I just use CalMag, and I'm even about to um take that out because you know they got a recipe for no CalMag with the B one B two. Yeah, you don't really need it, but um I yeah. had uh like we had Epsom salt instead of the CalMag because calcium is pretty prevalent in water anyway. If you're not using RO, it's kind of already in your water. And a lot of the the nutrients have that in there already. Yep. But um, oh, okay. What uh, cow the cow mag? Of- like? The cow mag, I think it's the, the, the Botanicare. Most popular cow mag in the world, man. The Botanicare. Botanicare. Yeah, Botanicare cow mag. That shit is just like. Yep. Everybody's favorite. There was a- There was also another one with no nitrogen. I did like for flour. I can't remember. Wait, well, I haven't used it since Vegas, though. Okay. You want to save some money? You want to save some money? Raw NPK cow mag. And it's just a powder? It's just a powder cow mag. Already put together for you. I think it's like an eighth of a teaspoon per gallon. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, save you a whole bunch of of nutrients. Yeah, so raw NPK nutrient, they got a cow mag for you. Yeah, the, so floor, check that out, the floor. Put this um put that put that video. I mean that uh, picture back up. Boom. Um floor flex. Look how beautiful floor flex is, man. Woo! It's booming. It's beautiful. You using cocoa? Yeah, I'm using cocoa. Um, I hear a lot of stuff about Mother Earth. Are you using Mother Earth? No, I'm using um cloud core. Cloud core. I heard a lot about that also. You using like a perlite mix with it? Like a seventy yeah, thirty yeah, or so. Yeah, I think it is. Um, I think it is like seventy thirty. Okay. Also, it comes cut with perlite. Really in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already mixed up in there. Yeah. So I see. I, I see. Uh, what am I looking at right there at the bottom? You got one long quarter inch. Is that is that teed off to the rest of them? What do you mean, the um, PVC or the no, no, tubing? The tubing. No, it's a bunch of long ones running to all of them. They okay. all got their own line. They own um, octobubblers. And there's a piece of one-inch PVC in the back on the side, actually, okay. coming down from the ceiling. Got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's beautiful, man. Nice drain in the floor. That's perfect. Wash all that shit down. Oh, yeah. Bro, let me do when I When I came to this house, I got that whole damn waistline replaced just for that. I'm like, I'm using these fucking drains. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Really nice. Really nice veg, man. Beautiful. Uh, so, when when did, well, you can see in this one. There's still a Gavita in this room. So, what made you make the final switch to get the HPS is out of there. Are are you still using HPS? Look at that canopy. No, I'm not. I'm not using. Yeah, that that was um before I built my new room. I appreciate it, but no, that was um since then I went to all LEDs, and one the main thing that made me switch it because in that run I was using thousand watt double and Gavitas 
all the way turned up on 1150 because I got like um, 10 feet ceiling in this house. It's an old house, so I, you know, I let it slide by with it. Mm -hmm. And the LED did yielded the best in the room, so I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, hell no, nah, it's damn near half the power and it doesn't beat them. I'm like, that's it. I'm going all LED. Yeah, I'm hearing uh, people still asking me about LEDs. Like, man, did, when you made that switch, how much did your yield go down? I'm like, what are you talking about? Yield went down. <laughs> the yield went up and the quality went up. Facts. The quality yeah. main thing. The, the quality, quality went through sure. the roof. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. with these bar styles, I'm noticing that um, the yield goes up, though. Like that, that yield is a little better with the bar styles. There's something about them. Oh, hold up. Uh, yeah. Why don't you explain what you did? Why don't put you explain what you did under that LED? Oh, put us on the side. Oh, shit. Huh? Um, hold up. It, I don't think it'll let me on this. Oh, it won't. Swain, Swain, hold up. Right. Yeah, no, it won't let me. Okay, don't worry about it. Well, go ahead and ask that question again. I had disrupted y'all. My bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, let them know what you did underneath that, that LED. Wasn't that the strawberry, um, banana, strawberry cream banana, banana cream? Yeah, and I did a little four pounds with that. Four pounds. Under the Gavita LED? Yep. Under Crushed just it. one light or two lights? No, one light. That Gavita LED right there. One light. That space. Four pounds. Boom. You looking at it right there? L E D. I took a video of the pack. I took a video of them <laughs> showing yeah. that they was all the same. Yeah. I think it might be on my highlights. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. The people like bro, before man. that, before that, I swear to God, I said anyone that says some shit like that, I thought they was lying off top. I swear. I'm like three pounds. Uh, you pushing it? Three and a half, not four. I do like you got to be lying, but no, I hit that shit, and that's why I took the video. I was like, "What the fuck?" And now, again, did, that goes to the bar style. Now, where did the yeah. where did the weight come from? Did it come from bigger buds formed at the bottom, or just density, or both? It was density. And bigger buzz formed at the bottom. It was all the way through because I was able to get that light so close. I dropped it down even more than in that picture. Actually, it was it was like five inches above them. You hear it from me now. Like I, I got them like I got them like that right now. Actually, now I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not re-upping with um I'm not re-upping with HLG right now. Uh oh. Oh yeah, go with them pink rows. Go sorry. with them pink rows. Yeah, we had that talk too. So let's go ahead and get into um, into the Think Grow. Do you have any uh picture at with the Think Grow LEDs? Because now you said the Think Grow LED. That's a Miami Mango representation. Look at that, fat, one gallon pot, crushing. Was this uh, was this one under the Think Grow? No, that was under HPSs. Okay, it was um. Some thin mint cookie, that's what that was. Mm. Okay. Looking good in the motherfucker. And that's what genetics will do. Good genetics is gonna do it, man. Um, Think Grow LEDs. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Think Grow LEDs. Miami Mango makes a lot of memes, a lot of posts, a lot of braggadocious claims. <laughs> he does a lot, but his results is just it, it speaks for itself. Um it's there. And, and we have you on the line. Now you can confirm that. Yeah, them they they work good in the motherfucker. And you know you you know what the main thing I really don't like about the Gavita, it's it's so fucking big. Like it's literally a four by four light. That shit is really hard to move around, maneuver. And then if one if something go wrong on one bar, you gotta take that whole light down and try to send it back or some shit. Versus just taking one bar out. It's sending it out. So the Think Grow LED will allow you to just uh, disassemble a bar or detach a it bar. It disassemble. So they just clip on pretty much. Yeah. Dope mm -hmm. as fuck. Dope as fuck. Dope. Uh, <laughs> it, I think it's worth the money, man. And if it's getting results like that, then I got to say here and now, like, it's worth it. I love HLG. Don't get me wrong. 
But these bar styles, man, they just they taking over my my feed. They taking over the, the my consciousness as far as results. And that's what we in this game for is results. And it's like if you can spend the real normal price for LED, which is eleven twelve hundred dollars for a four by four space. Yep. Then it's mm -hmm. worth it. It's worth it, man. Fuck a deal. You know what I mean? Okay. Look, after that, after that one run you had the picture of, I done bought six of them since. The thing grows. Yep, the thing grows. So and I'm getting two more after this run. So don't it. Damn that. Because you that's know what? a beautiful thing for the price of them four. I can run eight now. I've been asking HLG for a bar style like for years now since I seen since I seen the spiders because I seen people crush it with them spiders. I'm what talking was that, top. Uh, science? Is it was science that? now? But well, they were spider back then, weren't they? Ah, uh, spiders. I remember spiders. That was a while ago, huh? Yeah, with the long bars. Yeah. And I seen people crushing it with those. Crushing it. I'm like, yeah, we need a bar style light because I love the HLG. It just doesn't cover enough of the canopy. And those bars, you could get them closer. The intensity is still great. And if you leaf strip on top of it, forget about it. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Trimming, trimming is nothing. Pop a couple leaves off of each bud. Keep it moving. What do you, um, on the thing grows, what, um, what, what setting do you keep it at? Like, do you think that um, you don't need to run them at 100% or what? All right. So, actually, that's something I'm just now experimenting right now. So, so this right Miami here is a thing, Rose. Sorry about that. Where? That's what I was doing in the background. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, one, two, three. Three of them is. Okay. The one the one to the um, left hand corner is the Gabita. Okay. I ain't swap it out yet. Thank you. Okay, is that what you were saying they, about the um, they work intensity? They work real good with the um, Troll Master too, with the Demon and Sunrise Sunset settings. But okay, um, Miami was saying that you can drop the lights lower, to way lower, and um, lower the, you know, lower the wattage of it, dim it, and get the same par that you need for flowers. So I went and got a par meter. And I dropped them like seven inches above the canopy and I dropped it down to 65. And I'm getting around like between like 890 and 950 pretty much all over the canopy. At That's six beautiful. Five percent. Yeah. That Man. is beautiful. So you can get closer with less percent and still have that same par because 900 is just perfect. Yeah. And the pars was pushing yeah. the weight. The pars what pushes the weight. Yeah. So what is the perfect? What is like? What what's the most? What's the top that you would use that they would reasonably use in flower? I heard twelve hundreds pushing it. I heard like a thousand is good. Nine hundred to a thousand. Twelve hundred is okay. pushing it, and you got to make sure you got enough. You got to make sure your food CO two is all matching on the same level. Like yes. you have to make sure all that shit is dialed in. So it's kind of hard to push twelve hundred. Uh, I wouldn't say hard, but it's like it's more. It's a little different, but 900, that's like perfect, man. 900. And and, and across the whole canopy? Yeah. Because at, at, well, in the other yeah. light, at some point in the canopy, you're going to get down into the fives and sixes. So to get 900 straight across plus penetration? Oh, man. And just think, try the light meter. Try getting the light meter um, down on the lowers and do it to, and test that out. Because if you're getting 500 down there, that's oh, fucking yeah. yeah. I'm going to do that after I, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that after I strip it. Yeah, yeah. Do the leaf strip. Yeah, yeah. The pink grows is my favorite lights. Yeah, you got me thinking now about my grow. Yeah. <laughs> nah, seriously, man. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, go ahead and shell out that money because, like, they they got proven results. Everybody I know that's using Lux, Think Grow, they killing it. Like, oh yeah, even, even Gavita. You give your money back. Even Gavita also. Even Gavita also. I have heard good things about it. The only thing about Gavita, I heard they don't have a dimming function. You got to buy a separate box for the to Probably dim. got a, a Gavita controller for it. Yeah. I didn't like that shit either. Yeah. Because I, I bought the adapter for my troll, man. So that shit ain't even work. And then to buy the dimmer for that, that's like buying a whole nother separate $500 controller. I'm like, no. Nah. 
hooked up. Yeah, it's like a Vita LED controller that they got. That's why I'm like, I'm going with the thing, bro. They they work with what I got and they good lights. How heavy are they? They're not that heavy. I don't know exactly. They're not that heavy. It's not hard to put them up. You hooked them up by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it ain't that. See, that's the beautiful thing about them coming disassembled already. Because you just hang up the body and then you just attach the bars while it's in the air. Oh shit. Dope. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's that's fire. And I, I love the spread that it gives you across the canopy. That's the main thing to me. Is that the plants on the furthest corner is pretty much getting the same amount of light as the plants on the opposite corner. Yeah. And and on every end. That's why I think that's why the yield be so good. Cause when I hit that um big yield, it was just big buzz. I didn't have no smalls really, because I had lollipop them. So they, it was just big buzz all throughout. I see right here. What what strain is this in this room? Um, strawberry banana cream, Crush. sugar cake, and mac killer. Fire, fire. <laughs> all yeah. the fire. I, uh, so I know I know there's a strain you're looking forward to running more of. What is it? Well, okay, I got a run of strawberry banana cream going right now because that was the biggest mom I had, so I was just running that. And then up after that, I got the apple fritter. Supposed to be lumpy stuff, but we're going to see. <laughs> and, uh, and the cherry runs from Copycat's ass. Yeah, the cherry runs. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that shit, man. Me neither. Great things about that. And if it's somebody I could listen to about some some fire, I could listen to him. Yeah, so tell us what you think about that cherry runs. Man, that shit, that's that's the best thing I'm smoking. Yeah, that's (laughs) that's the best thing I've smoked. Shut up. That's what I want to hear. Hell yeah. But but, um, yeah, that's the, it's, it's, man, the flavor is crazy. Like the turps, like that's the main thing. Like it has a real good high too. Like you could like it's a, it's something you could smoke and watch a movie at night, you know. And it's got a heavy eye, but it just tastes so strong and tastes so good. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Like you could roll it in a Dutch and it's still yeah. Like yep, that lip smacking, yep. that lip smacking trees. <laughs> yeah. Does it, like. does it lean? Does it lean more towards the runts or more towards the cherry? I might have to say the cherry. Yeah. Good. That means I like it. Yeah, I'm on it. That's dope. Yeah. Glad I got that motherfucker growing, man. Me it's... too. Shout out to Grow God. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Grow God. Somebody um, had a question for you. Um, <laughs> where was it? Where was it? Uh, I can't see it right now. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, Mark, you said, I like a little heat from my lights. Don't have to run a heater. Do you have to run a heater with those Think Grow LEDs? Nah, it was perfect. And I'm up in Michigan. You know what I'm saying? So in the winter, it worked cold, out. Cold. It was perfect. Yeah, I, yeah, fucking cold. It was goddamn 46 today. Um, in the winter, it was perfect to where my temperature was still like between 80 to 83. So the AC just didn't come on at all. I like it. My AC don't yeah. work for most of the year. And that was in the winter. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. So, so even with the like bars, you going to have a little heat. Even with the bars pushing out a little heat. Yeah, it's pushing out a little bit of heat. Okay. How far away from them can you get before you feel the heat start to like dissipate? Until, until you could like feel it on your hand or something? Until yeah, you can't feel like, it on your hands no more. Like, does oh, until so you can't feel it? A couple of inches, maybe three oh, inches. So you can't feel no heat from it, really. Oh, so, so you, you can, can smack this on a canopy. Down, down four inches above the canopy and just be fine. Yeah, I got them like that right now. I'm on it. Well, like, not four inches, but seven inches. They're close. Yeah. And, Frosty, you know what's crazy? When my Ray Maddox, I can... I've had them damn near grow into the Raymatics, and it's kind of a bar style light and no bleaching. I had them get close to the 550s, bleach the tops of everything. Yeah, I bleached my tops of my fritter um, this last run, and yeah. it was like, uh, with about, LEDs? Like, a foot and a half yeah. away. 
He's about a foot and a half away from it. Yep. Leave the tops. My brisk girl did the same thing. That's the thing about HLG. They're great lights, but I really think they are for like 10 foot ceilings. If they, they are the way, they for yep. high ceilings, man. Yep, I agree. And I'm just, yeah. They're just pushing so much out of such a small space. Now, those, those strips are longer on the bar style lights, and then there's more of them. Yeah. So it's easier to, to spread that heat out and to spread the intensity of the light out better, easier than it would be on a 550. Now, the 550 is going to crush. Don't, don't get me wrong. They're hitting great numbers with them, great light. But I would prefer a bar style that I could put closer, veg shorter, and just use more plants. I can't see four pounds coming from any HOG. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Set them up like Gazitas, maybe. Set up the the, the, the Diablos. Set up the Diablo. That was a four by four space, right? Under that um, Gavita? Yeah. Yeah. The four pounds with? Mm hmm. Yeah. Tables were four by eight. You need to pat yourself on the back, buddy. Four light. You hit four <laughs> light. Wait, hey, it wasn't even it was, the next round. I ain't do it. Yo, the thing was, it wasn't even that he hit four light for me. It was the quality that came with the four light, like an uh, outstanding quality. And of course, it'll be strain dependent. You know, we know that. But it's like, oh yeah, to even have four light of that quality, that's that's just amazing, man. And that's the quality amazing. was amazing. Congratulations on that, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, that um the SBC that you had up earlier though, that quality was better. And I didn't I didn't hit four per light on that one. I didn't hit number two point five. I was blown. I was like, what the fuck? But I, I'm in a new room now because I had just built a big ass room in the basement, really. Okay. You how you mad how you mad you hit two point five? Bro, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Open up world. Yeah. <laughs> he said, man, I'm mad because I, I ain't hit I ain't hit four again. I hit 2.5. Bruh. You asked my girls. I was walking around here sad, like damn. I like I just fucked up. Oh hell no. Oh, ah. <laughs> I'd have been perfectly okay with doing 2.5 of like. Man, Hidesa just oh, said he did 3.6 from one of my 650Rs last run on Fritter. Fritter and that quality was yeah. crazy, too. And the quality is crazy. Fritter stacked, man. Yeah, I heard that Fritter yield good. Big spears. That's all I seen in Frosty's room when he had the nets up. Just big spears. Yeah, that's a yield. Yeah. Because, you know, the nose is so close on the apple fritter. They grow real tight. Yeah. They yeah, just stack all the way up, all the way through. Yeah, it's kind of annoying for veg because it take a long time to get big. Yeah, it take a while for you to like train it right. You know what I mean? If you could train it to where you got like sixteen tops, she gonna kill mm-hmm. for you. But it do. That's how I just got it take one. A minute. It take a minute. I know. I that's how I just got, got one. Hmm? High Desert crushed it. Yeah, uh, he did. Fritter. On the fritter, he crushed. Mm-hmm. And he killed that divine gelato, man. I got you. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah. gelato look crazy. That shit blowing too, man. Yo, that that's that a one quality right there. That's that's, that's what they that's right. what they putting in mylar bags right now and showing on Instagram, sir. Yeah. So was that strawberry banana cream that Grow God did though, man? Did I wish smoke? I wish I could pull that video up. How was huh? the smoke on that? How was the smoke on that SBC? Man, it's real sweet, like. In the bag, you could smell like it smelled like fruity, like a like a strawberry, like the banana's real slight, and then it's like the smoke is just like a creamy, sweet smoke. Like it's really sweet. Okay, how's the high? It's good. Okay, that's really all I've been smoking, and it still give me a <laughs> so. How does cherry runs yield? I don't really know. Cause I had it under um, uh, like a ninety-five watt HLG actually, just some shit. The uh, HLG one hundred, uh, maybe it's like one of them little 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 square ones for veg. I just yeah, wanted that shit just to flower like, yeah. I was just looking at the traits, you know what I'm saying? Wanted yeah. to taste it, seeing what that shit hit for real quick. 
Yeah. yeah. You if it's worth bringing it to the big room. Huh? You plan on doing a bigger run now, right? Yeah, that's the next one. Yeah, for sure. I, I already got the clones cut. They I should got they rooted already. I got plenty. Of. Cool. Hell yeah! Oh, you gonna do a whole room of them? Uh, probably half. I'm gonna do half. Chill. What else? Half. I prefer them. There you go. Okay. Flavor. That, that's yeah. yeah. Flavor. That's that. That that covers the whole board right there. Everything somebody could want. That's that's right, right there. Um, yeah, you y'all ever had Elmer's glue? Hell yeah, just had some. Really, never heard of them. Yeah. Um, yesterday, yeah, mm. yesterday I had some. Yeah, hell yeah. What is it? It's like it's right. like gorilla glue that's like 900 times frostier. Damn, oh, and it's hard uh, to say that. Yeah, about that glue. Oh, you got that? Yeah, I just I want to run it, I haven't seen it or had it. Uh, you got a question yes, comment that says, how long you been growing, bro? How long you been growing? <laughs> That's my girl, too. Um, <laughs> shit. I'd say, like, four years? Yeah. I can give it four years now. Yep. Four it's years the white cross with GG4. The white, yeah, the white is frosty as hell, man. The white, the white cross with GG4, and it made the Elmer's glue a ridiculously frosty strain. Like, okay. crazy. <laughs> You know, when I was cutting, I, I had took some cuts from a homeboy. When I was taking cuts, it was sticky. The cuts were sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, you gonna have. Nah, a... I'm t- It's a winner. I need that. Cut. Yeah, I'm like, what is it like, sappy or something? I'm like, damn, that shit's sticky already. There it is. Elmer's glue. They gonna be sued pretty soon, huh? Oh yeah, you see what happened? To, <laughs> you seen the Skittles company, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that was crazy right there. Now that was, I mean, you got well, to expect who's that. You to see that coming though. You got to expect all that shit. Who they show? Uh, turp hogs for for the zittles. Oh wow! <laughs> they wow. <laughs> oh yeah, run, run. I don't know what's gonna come out of it though, because it's like, I mean, it's a different. It's two different letters in it. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I said something, and and we changed the letters. You you can't say that this is the same thing. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, that's gonna be a hard. But you're gonna wind up losing anyway out of lawyer fees and everything else. But yep, you gotta watch what you oh. name things now. So in house is the only brand you really look at. Oh wait, how do you dry? Um, I dry in the room. You know, so I I do the sixty sixty. Mm-hmm. But the humidity halfway through the humidity the humidity ends up dropping down to like fifty five fifty, mm-hmm. and I don't ever correct it, so it really finishes in like a little over a week. I say a week and a half. It don't go to full two weeks, exactly but I do right. start off on a sixty sixty though. That's exactly Mine, right. same way. Start at sixty, end up at fifty five. Yep. Good yeah. nine days, ten days. Well, depending on how big the room is, you got to start at nine so you can finish the last plant in time before it's crispy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the first ones might be a little extra sticky, but then once you start working into it, yeah, you hit the sweet spot. Uh, I'm getting a damn trimmer this summer. <laughs> what a, a trimmer. Yeah. I use the trim bag now. It's all right. But I use the trim bag. Yeah, I use the trim bag. Yeah, man. I heard it works a little bit, but you still got to touch it and clean it up and do all that. Yeah, you definitely got to clean it up, but it saves you a shitload of time still. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I like, I like just getting my hand trimmers and just knock that shit out, have everything looking A1, man. And uh, it it, it, cool. it costs money, but, you know, it should just it get done fast and it's hand trimmed. You can't, can't complain. Keep the economy going. You don't like the trimming machines? I don't like none of that shit, really, to tell you the truth. The only, yeah, the only, the only trimming food. machine I, I have seen that's good, it's a commercial trimming machine, and it's too big for me. That shit it do a lot of Green shit. Like, it go into steps. Yeah. It's like it separates your littles, your mids, your bigs, and then come out at the oh, end. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's a big-ass machine. It's like commercial, commercial. But that's the only one I've seen that really do everything. You just It's done when it's done. You ain't got to fuck with mm. 
someone said with the trim bag, do you feel like you lose more than actually just trimming it? Would lose more what weight or yeah? That's what I'm assuming they're saying. Nah, oh no, nah, I don't really even no, nah, I don't worry about it because ain't nothing gonna be in there. But the only thing that's gonna be in the bottom of it is trim and smalls, like so really, really small. Yeah, because I yeah. got this one trimmer, and like when you see that trim, you be like, hell no, this shit taking off way too much shit. It's like. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so much material down there. But then when I look at the trimmers, they be having hella material too. So I don't, yeah. I don't know, man. It you, might don't like that. you don't like like the T4s and the T6? Uh, as far as trimmers? Trim machines? Yeah, like like the, out, like the end product from... I don't know. Look that up. Look that up, Beast Coast. Pull it up. What is T4, it? T6 trimmer. Look up the T6 or the T4 too. But the T6 is like a tabletop one that can do like um, I don't know. I think it's between like four to seven pounds an hour. That might be the one I'm talking about. That it's like a big machine and it do everything. No, it's not. No, the, the T6 ain't big. Oh, the, the T4 twister. a little bit bigger. Yeah, the Twister. Okay. Okay. They come out clean if you um. And they come out see, like a demo one. Okay. Yeah, I'm just used to what I'm used to, really. Yeah. They probably do. But that's work. the one I'm buying. That's yeah, it works. I mean, yeah, you can watch them on YouTube. They be, you know, they'll show you how it come out. I think my issue always was I knew I would still have to touch them up at the end. So I'm like, why why go through the extra step? And with if I still got to trim them anyway. With the trim machine, your bud got to be yeah. dry. Oh, it got to be dry. Yeah. Like, you can't get in there a little bit earlier and. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? That that them yeah. leaves gonna stay on there. Yeah, I'm used to that now with the trim bag. I make sure it's all like dry, dry. That's how you know uh, definitely dry. the amount of leaf left on it because they usually run a nose through machines when, when they're doing depths and shit. They, they're such big runs. No one's sitting there hand trimming that. It's getting run through machines watch, just like that. Watch these migos get that. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, 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 no. They, yeah, <laughs> they gonna clean it up. They're gonna clean it up. I seen you yeah, from last year. Talking about, talking about hundreds of peas, though. Hundreds of peas, you gotta have your it is best for a trim machine because you could process so much, and then at the end, you have your little trimmers go ahead and knock off your crow's leaves, your crow's feet, and all that little shit and throw it in the bag. That'll work, you know what I mean? With on the scale yep. that big, that's how I would do it too. On the scale that big, yeah. Well. You would need too many people, you have to hire too many people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way too many. At that point, you gotta learn how to cut some kind of cost. Somebody Bro, else said that's yeah. the same one they've been looking at. What's the um are you planning on buying land and stepping it up to greenhouses or like what's your what's your future plans? Not immediate, like not right now, but just later. Like where can you see yourself? What's your ideal, what's your ideal setup? Is it indoor, outdoor, greenhouse? Like what's your what's your ultimate? Mm -hmm. I would, I mean, if I could get legal, like, if I could get, like, a something wreck or something like that, or even medical shit, um, yeah, I would, I would do both. Actually, I would prefer indoor. I would prefer inside, like, something big inside. But I also want to take a swing at the depths because you could get some, you get some real nice depths and you could, like, get a lot out of it, too. Yeah. Nothing grows faster. Like Frosty's depths, Frosty's depths change the game. The sun, um, uh, the sun, the sun makes your plant grow so faster, so much faster, man. It's just like, mm. and the quality is there. The depths are dope. Your depths oh, look like yeah. indoor, but we, but with you, yeah. Shit, that's what most of Florida shit is. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, mostly everything coming over this way is on East Coast. Anywhere over this way is usually depths. You'll get a few people who grab indoor too, but it's mainly depths. You can, I, I just know outdoor from indoor. Bud size, the amount of yeah, no, uh, even if they no, trim it perfectly, no, no. where where the leaves had to come off at. You can still tell a difference. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The indoor indoor is dope too, though. If you have like a facility and shit, that's dope. Especially what you're yeah, doing and how you're doing it, you crushing indoor. So if you can multiply that, you'll be a fucking 
monster, monster in this game, man. Motherfuckers would be lined up, ready to uh, ready to get your Appreciate shit. It. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I wanted to be. For sure, man. For what about um the- what about D leafing and leaf stripping? What's your methods on that? You doing day ones and twenty ones, forty twos? How you how you go about that? I do it at um twenty one. And depending on what strain it is, I'll do it at forty two. Okay, just in case they get a more leafier, you'll do it again. Yeah, like that fritter, I'll probably do both. But like a lot of strains, I don't do both. Yeah, I noticed that I do twenty one. If I do any leaf stripping, it's twenty one, and I ain't fucking with it no more. But I'm late. I'm yeah. lazy when it comes to that shit. I'm not trying to do too much. But I have noticed the LA Kush kick in my small greenhouse. It could take another one now. That shit grew right back. So oh, yeah. I yeah. might get in there in day 42 and do it again. That shit is a lot. <laughs> yeah. It is. You know what I do? I do the day 21. And then whenever I'm in the room, I just go through and start pulling, pulling leaves. Every time that I'm in there, pull more leaves. And then by the time you get to harvest, ain't much left. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't do it. I don't do another full leaf strip like all at once. Go through all the plants. Boom. Leaf strip them all. I just little by little day by day. Because some days you're going to spend more time in there because you're just chilling. Like something about the sound of those fans and the leaves blowing in the wind. Once you get started, you just start going through the canopy. That so that's what I do. Um, honey. And yeah. I don't know what it is. It puts you in a trance. Yeah. yeah. For real. <laughs> Time fly by too. Oh yeah! Next thing you know, you in there two hours leaf stripping. You done did everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't, I don't exactly put a date on it, but I know twenty one. Yes, we we going through. We gonna hit them hard, and then after that, it's just as needed. Yeah. Right. I don't grow. I don't grow leafy strains. If a strain is is too leafy, it's out of here. That's, That's the only thing I don't like about the apple fritter. It's leafy. The apple like, fritter is leafy, bitch. From vegetable. Yeah, from Virginia, I can see. I'm like, oh my god, these it just grows like such a little bush. All these damn leaves. I, you got to strip it a lot in veg, even if you're trying to mom it out. Yeah, I, I don't really. I, I try not to. I try not to leaf strip shit and veg. Just the bottoms. I like the bottoms away from the dirt, and um, and I take like a big leaf at the top. Like if they just too big, because the apple fritter leaves get bigger than my hands. Like they get hella big. So I'll take those big ass ones off and that's about it. And but but I understand like when you don't, you can't really see where your nodes at. You'll just see hella leaves right. everywhere. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the reason that you you got to. Yeah. <laughs> right. What kind of um, IPM um what kind of IPM methods are you doing? Sofa. I done got on the sofa. Okay. Right, them bitches down. Yeah, don't even have that. Don't got to worry about nothing with it. Not from what I've seen already. Okay. It He's pretty much covers all the bases. Micronized sulfur. Stirring yeah. it up real good. and Yeah, mix it in some water and spray it right on them. Using pump sprayer or a fogger or how you how you applying I, it? I use a pump sprayer now, but I want to get a fogger when I got a little money to play with it. Yeah. I like the pump sprayer, yeah. man, for inside. Pump spray just, just you just get to everywhere. You could just get in there, nice and calm, and just touch everything. How the pumps? How the uh, fogger work? It, it's like way too strong or something. Fogger is strong, man. It's just really holds. Like that's some. Outdoor. It's like a leaf blower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I want. <laughs> Blow the whole damn roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you got to stand. You got to stand back too. You got to give it like. Some space like five six feet you know what i mean you want to blow all your plants over <laughs> yeah. god damn you yeah, don't use a fogger for no okay. teenagers and then that shit gonna fall over. yeah i use the um paint sprayer yep the little oh, okay paint sprayer yeah, little, little dewalt paint sprayer so what i do is i make a gallon and a half for my solution that i need and I just take the gallon and a half with me. I got an extension cord dedicated to it. So as soon as it empties out, refill it out of the gallon and a half. Boom. I just hate the paint sprayer because it just goes out so fast, man. That's like, why you got to keep the gallon right next to you. Keep on <laughs> putting in there, man. If you got a big enough room, you're going to have to use about four different uh, refills. Oh, yeah. Which is just work. It ain't no big deal. You got to work. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Quick it swap out. Fun, if you like the um, pump sprayer, you know, Floorflakes got a, a automatic one now. 
Yeah, I seen that. I actually got one of it's those. Pretty strong too. Oh yeah, yeah, I got it looked nice. Big isn't ass it? one. I got a big typhoon, that, um, and I got a nozzle on there that's adjustable, so it'll come out a little more um, like spread. The spread is a little more softer, like the pump sprayers are. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of cool. And I got a like, twenty-five foot cord with an extension for another twenty-five foot. So that's okay. dope. Yeah, that yeah, that works nice. Yeah. That sounds that good. Works. So you don't even you don't do no pumping. You just plug it in. No, I like the pump sprayer still. I still like the oh, pump okay. sprayer. Just because, I don't know. It's something about how it comes out. It just comes out softer. You know what I mean? With that this, one, it comes out like, shh, And it's like, you know, you'll see your gallons just do, 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 just be gone. With the pump sprayer, that one gallon do a lot. It do a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Spread it out. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So, so for the IPM. Okay, ultimate yeah. question. What is your favorite strain? It's can't just pick one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody getting stumped uh, at this question. As of right now, it's going to be the strawberry banana cream. Okay. Favorite strain of all time. Just that one strain that if you yeah, if you could get it one more time, you would you would say I want this one. Like that's all like a smoke. <laughs> yeah, like if you just hands down, you got everything in front of you from the old, from the past, everything, just everything on the table, and you about to go out, which one you grabbing? That's hard as hell. Um <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be the Strawberry banana cream. Damn, that's 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 oh, some shit then. Yeah, over the cherry. I, it runs. was really between. Yeah, I like I like the smoke on the strawberry banana cream a little bit more. Okay. And um, it was between that or thin mints. Okay. You know, but I love I'm thin different mint. though because I like the flavor, but I don't like it all the time. Like that's not all I want to smoke. Too much flavor. If it, it if it has too much flavor. I don't want to smoke it all the time. I want to smoke it on like, you know what I'm saying? When I feel like taking it there. So the strawberry banana cream is like, um, it's more mild on the flavor, but it's, it's good. Yeah. But it's like Compared a, to that runce. Yeah. That runce is going to be stronger cherry. Like, like damn. Okay. I feel, I feel like. Lot, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of flavor. I hear cherry. I know it got cherry pie somewhere in that lineage. And I know cherry pie is just jam packed with flavor. Super cherry. Yeah, that's what he that's what he mixed it with. The um runs with the cherry pie. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And cherry pie is stupid strong too. Stupid. I never strong. had it though. Bruh, it yeah. is stupid strong. I never smoked it myself, but everybody that mm. has they they swear by it. It will knock you and it's fire. You got a comment? Um say uh, go back up, go back to that one. Say grow god, how many times a day do you feed and what bubblers you running? GPH gallons per hour. Um, in flour or veg? In veg, I feed like twice a day, and I got those hooked up to the uh, Floor Flex micro dripper. I forgot. Well, I think those are like half a gallon per yeah those. hour or minute or something like that. Yeah. Um, and the flour, I'm really only watering like once every two to three days, and I think I'm using the like the twenty per gallon hour from the floor flex, whatever one, the biggest one, the blue one, I think it is the 20 per 20 gallons per hour. Oh, and that's the, uh, and, uh, that's the bubblers. Yeah. So that's yeah. The, the, those, that's the bubbler system. Yeah. Okay. So I like that better. Oh, you don't flour. have just an open flow to the micro dripper since the micro drippers are already compensated at a half gallon. You know, it's going to do that either way it go, right? You said have an open flow to the micro drippers. Yeah. Because the micro dripper is already rated at a half a gallon, so it's not going to do any less or any more than that. So you don't really need to have it compensated at the bubbler. No, no, that's two. We talking about two different rooms. The micro dripper is the um, veg. The bubbler is the flower. Got you, got you. Okay. Yeah. And the bubbler just yeah, goes like- to an open flow. No, the bubbler goes to the twenty gallon per hour. The blue, the little blue inserts that you put into the bubblers. Yeah, but the end of the line that touches the pot, does that have an emitter on it? 
No, no. Gotcha. Yeah, you're so right. That, that's, that's what's yeah. open. Yeah. So that's an open flow. So it's compensated at the bubble and then open flow. Dope. That's dope. Mm-hmm. I like that because the uh, the open flow for bigger pots or for pots really in flower, it just allows much more volume of water like to spread out. You know what I mean? Like when you had the drippers on there, like I got 10 gallon pots in the greenhouse and I got the dripper on there, which is four gallon power. But I really don't like how it comes out direct in that spot instead of that, Bro. like that stream of water that comes out with the open flow. So I understand what you're sure. saying. Sure. Sure. No. I don't have them um, just sitting in the pot, but I have the, have you seen them four flakes green caps, the square ones? Yeah. Yeah. So you got those. The water. Yeah. I got those. You know, they go to the top of those. That's dope. Because that corrects that problem right there. Yep. Yeah. It spreads it out. You know, I want to get some of those. Do they have the bigger ones? Do they have any bigger squares? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They got big ones. They got big square ones. They got big circle ones. They got a bunch of them. I think that'd be great. And you I know what? From my pots, they was like right on top. Pots. Say that again. I think they have them all the way up to like seven gallon pots. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm gonna get on the website and do some uh, searching because that'd actually be dope if I could just do an open flow and, hey, and then it's just you get on that website, you gonna get the shopping. Yeah, <laughs> they got some shit. <laughs> they, they, do. Them, they do. Yo, they got their own clone tray. Everything. They, 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 they oh, the and I'm going for it. Speaking <laughs> of clone tray, have y'all <laughs> have y'all noticed the fucking uh, riot cubes, the root riot cubes? Yeah. You notice any change to the material, the way they feel, the little muffin top in them now? What are they cheaper now? Like the cheaper man? Cheaper I don't know quality? what the fuck. Yeah, I, I can't even say cheaper because they feel thicker now they feel harder and thicker but that shit is fucking horrible like bro damn near i would say a good like 40 to 50 percent of the clothes i put in them shits die so they're not they not like soft no more no 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 they kind of rugged they tripping they tripping. Yeah, the ones they I'm used to, they it. squeezy they, they like sponges they like little sponge yeah see those I, right bro, there because you, you know how I, you know how I noticed. So it's not this on the on the on the screen. Oh, let me see the top of that. No, it's not those. I think no. they might have two different um two different kind because those yeah, are there's, yeah. there's rapid rooters and then there's the root riots. Yeah. So I think yeah, the, I I the root root these are rapid rooters. Yeah, it's not that bag. It's the black bag. Yeah. You know, the T1 most productions T1 Productions said they have changed it. Okay. And it's fucking horrible. Bro, if you if you come across some shit, throw them away. Do not buy that shit. Like the clothes get like stem rot and they fucking die, or they just don't fucking root. And I know it, I, I know this for a fact because I got some of the floor flex cubes planted some cuts a week after our them cuts were planted in the Floor flex ones rooted before those ones. Yeah, them, them motherfuckers still ain't root. Everybody in the comments like saying weeks, that they trash. They get a lot of dampening off, and they've been jacked Bruh. up since last year. They must have had a um, they must have had a change, and somebody bought the company or something and changed some shit for the worst. Yeah, and it happens it's for the fucking worst. They just fuck this shit up because I'm like everybody gonna notice this. And my homeboy thinking he doing something wrong because he just started. I'm like, bro, I don't think. He thought, he's like, maybe I got mites. I'm like, nigga, I don't see no mites nowhere. I'm just like, it's these fucking cubes. Yeah, and then we went to the hydroponic shop. They were saying the same shit. I'm like, all right, see, it ain't us tripping. Like, these shit and, now, and now that you brought it up, you just see it all in the chat. Everybody saying the same thing. Yeah, I just said I fucked off two whole trays, went back to rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them bitches are trash. And that's why I like my arrow cloner. I don't even deal with none of that you shit. You ain't even got to deal with it. Yep. I'm actually about to go get the easy cloner, sure. too. And just get two of those two 128 site low profile. Put my rack up. Put a you don't gotta strip. miss them. You ain't gotta do shit, man. Put that shit in there and suck 18. Does it have to be a certain um environment for them, or you could just I'll keep it at 78, 78 in there. Okay. 78. You want about 60% humidity, but I haven't noticed anything. Just just keep it at 78, man. Don't let it get too cold. 
it'd be all right. And then you pump on, uh, I do 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. And I'm, I got another another um, uh, autom- automatic uh, timer that does one minute on and like four minutes off. Yeah. So I'll start playing with it like that. But I like the I like the yeah. arrow cloner, man. It's just stick them in and I see y'all in 10 days. You know what I mean? Can you use that with Rockwell? I don't, I don't see why you would. Yeah, you might break off the like root trying to get it in the cube after. You just, yeah. See, so a lot of people you like Rockwell and Root Rides because they come with stability. You know what I mean? But I just throw this shit in whatever I'm using and just smash it down around the stem and put some fan on it. It's going to get, it's going to be it's sturdy. Good. It's yep. going to be sturdy. What I started doing now is okay. I use the, I use the Rockwell slabs. I think it come with like 100 or 98 on, on a slab. I soak, I put water in the tray. I sit the slab inside the tray, give it a little while to soak in, pop the clones in it. Week later, everything's rooted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to go back to clone the rough. I used the rapid rooters for a while. That's why I still got rapid rooters. I used those for a long time. I don't know why I even switched. Yeah. Rockwell is cool. Why y'all don't use, why y'all don't all flower Rockwell? Like, use it for all the I have no never idea. Tried it, <laughs> never tried it. Heard it was a headache and just never not used to it. You know what I mean? Didn't want to change up that much. Do, do you hand water? Um, No. And veg. Just in veg. It shouldn't be that bad. That, it shouldn't be that bad if we don't hand water. Right? You're right. Just setting the pump on the timer. That's true. That's true. I just never, never had experience with it. You know what I mean? Me neither. I'm a hands-on person. If I if I wasn't like learned that way or like see people using mm-hmm. it, then I just don't I just don't use it. And I might dedicate one day, tray to try it. I've seen people use it and just went back to cocoa or went back to whatever they was using. It just didn't. Yeah, I've seen people using it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And What's then, it? what do you do with all of that afterwards? Like, where 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 does all of that all right. fiber go? Can't you burn it? <coughs> I don't, I don't know. know. All of that sounds toxic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no matter which oh, way you yeah. cut it, I'll be burning toxic. shit in my backyard. I'll be burning all types of shit. <laughs> Leave the fire yeah, alone. Yeah. I got a neighbor that do that, man. He lighting fire every fucking night. Just shit just hey, flamed yeah. up. I'm if like, I can burn the trash, I'm burning that. Yeah, he'd be flamed up down the street. Man, I'm talking about big ass barrel, like you know how them old New York, New Jack City shit, and they be singing outside the barrel. Yeah, that's yeah. Be, that fire be like. Whoa. I'm like that motherfucker crazy. He find a sun to burn every day. <laughs> I, try, I try to avoid it. Chris says Rockwell is easy as fuck. GNF says Rockwell can stack EC. Um, yeah, Rockwell is just something yeah. that I would have to dedicate a four by four area and just do it. But I'm so used to doing what I'm doing, I really don't really not tripping, man. A, I'd rather use cocoa because it might be a little harder to dispose of the Rockwell cubes afterwards. So what do you do with your cocoa? Because I find myself looking crazy with all that cocoa. It goes into a vegetable garden. Oh, okay. And you can, you yeah, can reuse it. How much do you how much do you use for the garden? One gallon pot. Oh, okay, you use one gallon? Yeah, one gallon pots. And I use them for compost too because cocoa. it's what worms eat. Yeah, you, hell yeah, you can you reuse, can reuse cocoa. cocoa. It's the most reusable medium. Yeah. Because it Wait don't it don't hold on to nothing. You know, cocoa no. hold on to shit. <laughs> it's just roots. Once so you, do you got to wash it or something? Rinse it out. No, you don't even have to do that. But if you wanted to, you could. You could, yeah. You could rinse it out, let it dry again, and then go right back. But you don't even have to do that. Pull the roots out of it, and boom, bow. And if you really want to get done faster, get some kind of enzyme and soak it with the enzyme first, let it dry out, and then afterwards, boom, because the enzyme will eat up all of the dead roots that's left in it. Mm. Yeah. But it's Waste definitely like reusable. Right. Remo been reusing his for years, and his plants are fucking gigantic. For years, so I can. Yeah, he, he's been going for a while now. Certain point. Yes, and let's keep it in rotation. Cocoa don't hold. Yeah. It's not yeah. holding on to shit. 
pull them fucking roots out, pull that root, big root ball out, throw that away with the plant, get all your cocoa down, rinse it out, strain it or whatever, and then fucking right back again. My favorite was Medi Cropper with the no-till cocoa beds. He had the, the cocoa beds on wheels and was doing it kind of no-till style with regular nutrients, and he reused that cocoa for a few rounds. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. just add new cocoa to the old. You could do that, too. If you need some yep. more, just go ahead and add a couple bags to the old. Because you're not going to be able to get the, the roots and the cocoa separated on everything. Like there, yeah. there's gonna be some taken away each time, so it, you um, have to if you have one gallon pots like with you, Beast Coast, you're not using that much, reusing that much cocoa. Mm. Ain't none a, left. Well, it ain't no more cocoa. It's all ain't root. no cocoa left. It's just all roots. But what are you in, Grogot? Three gallons? Yeah, three gallons. Yeah, you should have some uh, cocoa left. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm busy a little bit in there. Yep. So once you peel the outside roots out, the the inside kind of just falls mm-hmm. right apart afterwards. It's just like the roots like kind of shell the whole interior of it. Once you pull all of those roots from the side and the bottom, it's a bunch of loose cocoa right there. You could just shake it over a thing, and it, you'll just get roots. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely about to try that because that's a lot of cocoa I run through. That's the main reason I was. Like, I did it for a long time. I did it for a long time when I was using uh, five gallon pots of cocoa. I did it for the longest. I reused mine. Paperback Supreme yeah. says, doesn't no-till cocoa just get hella dense and hydrophobic after a couple runs? Nope. The roots keep it from getting too dense, and it's not like there's anything compacting it. As long as you're giving it proper drybacks, you're fine. So he put a drain in the bottom of the uh, thing he had on wheels, and it could still drain out the bottom of those uh beds that he had yeah hmm. jennifer de leon said fuck your garden i don't know who you're talking to but I, that sounded funny you must be talking to somebody <laughs> in the chat oh uh gmx in the building what's good with you man what's up gmx uh yeah man chosen one said i use arrow cloners 12 days roots it's like magic it is man i love it uh, yep. I don't put nutrients in my cloner either. I just fucking tap water and cycle it. It's my shit. Roots popping. I seen uh, GMX does nutrients right out the gate. As soon as he fills his cloner up, it's nutrients right there inside the cloner already. Yeah, that's what. Uh, oh, so once they root, they, yeah. So once they root, they eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's another thing I, I love. About too. I'm yeah, full strength right out the dome. As soon as my plants come out the dome, they full strength nutrient right out the gate. Hell uh, yeah. Yeah. If, if you don't in that cocoa, your shit gonna be done. You feel you feel you think about how many years people were having problems. That's a bitch. Yeah. Think about how many people had problems with cocoa runs because people were well, when they come out, you give them 25% nutrients, then when they get bigger, give them 50% and your plant dying, and you think you're adding too much. Nah, just go ahead and give it what it need. 800, 800 PPM out the gate. House. I don't even know the PPMs no more. I've been using the same thing for so long. I just completely forgot what it was. Average is 800. 800, yep. 800 to 1,000 at the what's most. Your, what's your water coming at? You filter it? I don't do shit to my water. I don't my do water. shit. I'm out at 150. Goddamn. Yeah, 150. Mine come out at 250. Small boy. Yeah, I got a small boy I had for three years in the box, still sitting there. I got a tall boy. Got some good water. Yep, the water good over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm about to get a tall boy. Yeah, my water is good. Yeah. Water. Well, just got a lot of uh calcium in my water. Fuck load of calcium. You'll see it when you boil a pot of water. You could just see the calcium crust that that builds off of it. Oh wow. Yeah, I like having an RO filter in the house for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I be using that shit. Yeah, just for just for filtering your water, that's good. Mm-hmm. Spring mm-hmm. water is the best. Spring water is the best for you, but that that water is much better than what's coming out the tap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, drink spring water if you can. Hell yeah. Yeah. I wish I could. Crystal geyser. Yep. 
Uh, there's a, a company that, you know, those big jugs that you got to sit on the machines uh -huh. and use the, they, they got glass ones now of spring water. It's the best water I've ever had in my life. Some I swear that. it's that, it's that water, that water, that the water boy yeah. had in his little necklace. Like it was, it's that, <laughs> it's that water that brought him back to life. Like that, that's that glacier water. You guys, yeah, do, you, guys, you guys do taste the difference in water, right? Hell yes. Hell yeah. I was talking to my son. Like New York, York like, water, water tastes water. good. I was like, what? Water, water is not water. water. You go to Oakland and taste Oakland water out the tap, you'd be like, oh my God, this shit is fire. <laughs> like, that shit is great, man. Oh, work? You've yeah. been to New York? I've been to New York once. I didn't have no water, though. Yeah, it tastes good. Man, the water in New York is good. Like, if I sit at a restaurant and they give you water out of the sink or some shit, it's good. It's good water. Okay. They got good water up there. I don't know. I don't really understand how. So some places I would got think good they water, the tap yeah, water 250, the tap water 250 right out the sink. That's probably why it's good. You got hella minerals and shit in that shit. <laughs> I have it's no weird. idea what it's it is. Man. I don't know what the 250 is. Man, that's a lot though. That shit good though. Like the, the out here in Detroit and shit, it's got a lot of chlorine on it. Mm. What's the PPM right out the tap? I'm not even sure. I know after the uh, small boy is 150. After the small boys 150, whoo, you coming out yeah. 500. Definite. 500. <laughs> Definite. Because mine will take yeah, mine down. Yeah. To, mine will take mine from 250 to 3. Uh, Paperback Supreme? Yeah. Nah, man. It ain't the whole Bay Area, though, because I went to Hayward, and Hayward shit is nasty. Hayward tap water, nasty. The Oakland. I need to go to the Bay. It's the best water. Somebody Ooh, said Connecticut nice. water is the best. Man. Nine hundred Connecticut. Water. Yeah, Yo, somebody man. said uh, Connecticut water is the best. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> it could be Connecticut right there by that by that Atlantic. You know what I mean? That's yeah. probably why New York shit like that. Maybe New Yorkers don't drink tap water. Uh, we think our water bad. <laughs> What um living soil or super soil? Oh, never mind. Soil and super soil. Never mind. My bad. Mixed no up. till. I haven't tried organics. It's so easy. I just don't like the fact that I got a veg in the same room that I'm flowering in. Yeah, for the no till. If you was doing yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. What? There's the beds or something? Yeah, you got to plant into the beds. And there's no way to, mm -hmm. to bring new beds into the room and take the old beds out. Unless you built a doorway big enough for you to put the beds on like rollers, then you could roll the old beds out, roll the new beds in, put the that's other beds back in veg, and I ain't doing all that. That's some facility shit. Yeah, you would need a warehouse yeah. to be able to do something like that. So yeah, you I'll just same with, like same with RDWC. Lump status do that. Lumpy's flying? I'm, I'm curious about the hard, uh, the or DWC. I want I think one day I I can see myself going to that. Talk to low key grow. Like having the whole thing going. Yeah, I seen his. He he does a lot of um DIY, right? Oh yeah. DIY, man. Yeah. He'll help you out too. He can fool I'm telling you, he should uh he should have put a patent on that design. With he might chance. be mad. Oh yeah. yeah, he might be mad at himself later on that he didn't. If he hears this, go yeah. do it. <laughs> for real, I don't see nobody else doing that. Nah, and nobody it's the else. perfect setup, especially yeah. for somebody with low ceilings. Oh, that 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 is the setup to save you right there. You yeah, just, you gotta have your chiller game on point in RDWC. You gotta have your chiller game on point. What are those? Yeah, chillers that's running? the scary part. Shit, shit fail or something fail. Shit, dead. Yeah, You're fuck that. See, that's what I like. Try to keep it. I might just set up a rock wall. Rock I would wool. do rock wool before RDWC. I'll say that. Yeah, I like the idea multiple times, like feeding 10 times per day in flour. I feel like you can get good results from that. You can. You can. Because you're stacking, your, you're stacking it. You know what I mean? And then uh, at the end of the day, you're getting your runoff and starting it back over the next day. So it, it works out. It works out. You just got It's just going to be dialing in. You know what I mean? You're going to be dialing in for a while. Yeah. Okay. 
Then as the plant grows, it's taking more. You're going to keep on dialing in. I think Shots. with Rockwell, the best thing to do is have like have a lot of computers. It seems like computers will help you. You know what I mean? A lot of data to fit. To yeah, I'm about to get out. that Aurora, that Aurora um, water content measure. I think it measured the water content of the medium. Nah, the PPMs and the temperature, I believe. Okay. I'm not sure if it do the pH or not. If it do, that'd be fantastic. But I'm definitely, I got the Trollmaster one right now, but that one just tell you way more and it's a lot more accurate from what I hear. Okay. It's made for that water content shit. Yeah. So you can really dial things in. You can really see like when your PPMs is building up in your uh, medium, when it's low, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is that high grow? Yeah. Yeah. With the uh, blocks, rock wool. Yeah. Crushing. He, he crushes it with the that was nice. That was like a good year right there. Oh, that was good. Them hella you, know, you, you know the reason that I, I watch him so much is because he grows almost nothing but OGs. <laughs> <laughs> hella OGs. OG like the grows OG. the world. Yeah, hell yeah. I love OG. Yes, I would say sour, but I'm yeah. never going to be able to find it again. I feel like so. I just, I just call it quits on that. Yeah, I tell people all the time that real sour is gone. It's gone. Like, it's gone. gone. I don't it's even gone. try. Yeah, it's gone. That's I, I, hard I, to from New York, though. Huh? Yeah, they don't want to hear that. That shit is hard to explain for someone. To, that shit is hard to explain to someone from New York. Like, I got friends from New York too, and I'd be like trying to tell them, like, bro, that shit is like really gone. Like, nah, dollars. bro, I just had it last week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. You're not going to explain, like, no, like, the genetics are not around. You can't have had it. Where did you, you have can. it? You can't. Yeah. Now, I do think there is people who have it. I just don't know if we're ever going to be able to get access to it. Someone got to have it, but. I think, I think. I, they got to take they away can. at. No, I don't you got to get up to the mountains and pop seeds again. I don't think people got it, man. Cause I, I see a lot of people out here with it and it just it smell, it look, but it ain't it. It's just not yeah, it. Yeah. The real Chris, sour cheese, they don't true. understand. Chris man. is asking again, do you have channels on your pots from the bubblers? Uh I channels think channels on my pots yeah, from the bubblers. Like that's where the, the green thing from Four Flex, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no. No, I don't have channels. I don't have anything extra than the green square. The green squares that I got, the tubing plugs directly into it. He says right here, I had to go back up because he asked this question earlier. He said, Grow God in flower, you don't have channels where the whole pot doesn't get wet. So he mean like, is, no. it, is it getting a full spread of water throughout the whole pot? I think that's what he's saying. Yeah, it is. I don't let I don't let them get too dry. Like like I said, I got that floor flex water um content measure, so I don't let them get dry past like twenty two percent. Okay, what you do? They stick it in, stick it in a medium. Yeah, yeah. So I put holes in the side of the pot. Like I would say more lean towards the bottom, but not all the way at the bottom, and I stick it in there. Uh, fabric pot. Yeah, that wasn't a fabric pot. Okay, so you do that to every plant? Like, nah, hell no, nah, that shit too expensive for that. But um, oh, so it stays in I the got, pot? Yeah, 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 it stays in there. Wow, it stays so you in just there. leave it in there, I, and then um, d- does it send a signal to you, or do you just got to go check it, and then you know like how often the water? It sends it, send it to the Trollmaster, and then you can view it on your phone, or you can view it on the um, main screen of the Trollmaster, which is out, outside the room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice little cheat sheet. Where science means nature right there. <laughs> that, that nice yeah, little Yeah, you can always right view it. Yeah, you'll be able to know exactly how want, much yeah. moisture. Yeah, that Aurora one is um kind of like the Trollmaster 2. I think they have an app or something. So it's right on you. You know, it's right, right to your phone so you can view everything in real time. And that's another reason why I like the Trollmaster. You can literally control your room from your phone. You could be all the way in Florida and do whatever you need to do. So, Raise the CO2, lower it, turn the fan off, turn the dehumidifier on, turn it off, turn the AC up and down. So you got your water pump hooked up to the Trollmaster also? 
No, I got my water pump hooked up to um a smart plug. A smart plug? Yeah, it's like a smart plug that goes in the outlet that you control from an app. You can so, set it on a timer. Okay, so if you're away, you look on the Trollmaster app and you can see some your moisture content is down, and then you could just mm -hmm. turn the smart plug on and that'll feed the plants. Yep. And um I got a nylon valve. Y'all gonna sell uh, me on all this fucking technology, man. I know. Yeah. For real, I, man. I'm trying to be against it, bro. It's kind of hard. <laughs> I, I got the nylon valve on my water line, too, on the one-inch pipe. Mm -hmm. And that's hooked up to the Trollmaster, too. So every day, like, 8 o'clock, it opens up for five minutes and then closes back. So just to make sure you don't get no cycling. That's fire. Got you. So you just time it right. And then yeah. open, mm -hmm. up, open up, stop siphoning, and then close it back. Like, yeah, like if you, if you know you need to water that day, it's going to be at 8 o'clock. You, so you can set your um smart plug time for 8 o'clock. Okay. Sounds yeah, that gives you a little bit more freedom for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As That's long real. as you got a big enough res to last, you, you could be gone for a little minute. Yeah. I got, I got a 200 gallon right now. How you fit that I in? There? Really, How you fit that in? The, in they got them. They they them, them, them collapsibles popped up, and I grabbed me two of them. The collapsible. Yeah, it's um, it's collapsible. It's like it's like it kind it, it like it folds out. It's a to make a big circle, and it's like this hard. Not hard, not too hard, but it's like this tough plastic enclosure. Yeah. It works. What's the name of that? Can you pull it up? I don't, um, see that shit. I don't got the name of it on the top of my head. Collapsible. Okay. I'll show y'all a picture of it. Look on the uh, screen. Mm -hmm. Is any one of these it? Uh, yep, that's it right there. The grow? That's a few of them. No, the, the, one, the one you just had up with a W. Yeah, that one. Okay. Well, damn. And, uh, so you swapped out the little green piece. So you feed at the bottom? Yeah, I got an inline pump. I got a... Um, a leader? Yeah, my bad. Blanked out. I got a leader inline pump. I got a full horsepower. Okay. And then that just... Okay. And how many uh, fucking... How many gallons is that? That's 100 gallons? What? My reservoir? Or that one on the screen. Now this one, I think this one's two hundred. Yeah, they're not, they're not too big either. They're not too big, you know, because that's the main frustration I started coming across. Some equipment that I wanted that I can't get in so indoors. Like I, even when I couldn't find it, I was frustrated. Then, then I did find it. Then I was Facebook like, wait a minute, how the fuck am I gonna get this shit home? And how I'm gonna get it inside? Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I was trying to see how much it held. What the dimensions are if it'll fit where I'm trying to put it. And then what, what? how do you mix your nutrients up? Do you um so on the water line going from the pump, it goes up and then it tees off and then you know hooks 90 elbow facing back down towards the reservoir, and I got two ball valves so I could shut off the water line going to the plants. And it'll basically, we're just running that loop mixing from the bottom to the top. Okay. And it moves water really quick, so it mixes it up well. Yeah, with four, four, four four gallons a, per hour. Four gallon. I mean, four horsepower. That shit is just. Yeah, you know, it, it shoots water. And then you just, I remember you I just this, pour the powder in there? You don't make, pre mix the powder or nothing? You just pour it in there, let it. No, let it I, no, no, I still, I still, I still, um, I got this big mixing cup. I still mix it up in there fairly well. Make sure there ain't no clumps, and then I pour it in while the mixer is going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I got to step my game up with that reservoir, man. Oh, yeah. That's a game changer right there. Yeah. They're convenient. Hell, yeah. yeah. They're convenient. I ain't got to go there and check that shit all the time. If I got 200, 200 gallons? Gallon. I'd love that. Yeah, that should have lasted fucking yeah, bro. a long time. That 50 gallons and shit ain't working for me. Yeah, AJ man. Sour Diesel is not Sour Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Not gotta it. let it go. Yeah, AJ Sour is not it. That's one for the books, man. 
the 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 tales and times of sour diesel of sour diesel yeah <laughs> the good old day yeah sour sour was definitely a great one good while it lasted wish we still had it but we don't we don't have the haze either so that's two strains that just completely vanished yeah i can't grow a haze that's too long i can't do no long veg i can't do the long strain. Nope, that's yeah, why I don't run GMO. Smart plug, though, yeah. man, that's dope. But uh, smart plug, and I could just turn it. Uh, yeah, the the brand is on. I'm tripping. Yeah, we need that. You said uh, smart. They work plug. really well. K A what? K A S A. Oh yeah, you can go that's right right the Best Buy and get them. One hundred five. Uh, you can get like what's a the name of the brand? K A S A. No, I'll be shopping on Amazon. Yeah. And I ain't driving that far to Home Depot. So, <laughs> Amazon work too. Yeah, they got them right here. Shit, they got four pack for twenty five dollars. Dang. Oh, there you go. That's four different appliances. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set up some shit now. Uh-huh. That's dope, these, man. That's dope. Right. Have... Yeah. Huh? Yep. Twenty five dollars. And you and you can set it up on a timer. Based on time and day, or you can do it on demand too. Oh yeah, it's a wrap. That's dope. Yeah, so you yeah, can set it up for like every Wednesday at eight o'clock, and you know it comes on. Cool. All right, man. We coming up on time, man. Um, Gro God, it's been a pleasure having you, man. You for sure as a friend of the show, man. You welcome to come back anytime. We got availability, man. It's all good, man. Um, anything you want to tell the people or and want to get out? No, I appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, man. Oh, everybody, genetics, genetics, genetics. genetics. <laughs> That's the last thing. That's gonna get you where you want to be. For sure. You know, every time. Every single time, man. That's that's the one that's gonna have your name right. Yep. Got people coming back. You know what I mean? Yep. That's, gonna, that's gonna put you on the map. Once you start having bullshit, I swear, man, I did a year with all kind of strains that had names to it, but it just wasn't it, man. And it, it hurt me. It hurt me. Then when I finally mm-hmm. spent the money and got the right shit, I'm telling you, it went up from there. So yeah, genetics. Let let them know where they can find you at, Grogop. Shit, IG at um Grogod, G R O W G O D D. Grogod with two D's. It ain't that hard. Yeah. Grogod with two D's. D's. We right there showing y'all fire all the time. Straight all the time. Oh, yeah. Mister Coconut says, make sure the plugs are not or, or Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth. Yeah. Yeah, they are Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah that'd have been a big mistake right turned, there. Um, I had just turned the veg on, the, the veg watering system on on the way home from Home Depot. <laughs> okay. That is dope, though, to be able to just have that kind of control. So you got your veg hooked up to that um that sensor also to tell you when you need the water? No, nah, I ain't got one in there. I just know they they going to need it when the water, when the lights come on. And then when I wake up, I water them again. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, it was so great having you, man. I appreciate it. It's fun being here. Yeah, it's the first thing, time I did something like this. Yeah, man. It's not going to be the last. Be the last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be the last. We here. We community-based podcast. So whoever we have on, we want to have y'all on more. We want your friends on. We want to keep the conversation going and just... uh and just you know, just do us, man. We, we we need this. We need this. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Yep. Definitely. Let's Big shout out. Time, man. All right. All right. Peace. Are we good? Yeah, man. That was good. Shout out to Great Grove. one. Right, man. Shout out to Grow God. That was yeah. definitely a good one. Wealth of information. Hell yeah, man. It's been a good one, man. I'm gonna go ahead and uh go watch a movie with my uh my my, my mother's day, my mother's day lady. Go watch yeah, you already know. So uh, that's another one in the books, episode yep. six. Make sure that y'all like, make sure that you subscribe, 
hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for the next episode. We got more also, people. Also get to Instagram and um follow the Green Table Podcast on Instagram. It's called the Green Table Podcast uh, on Instagram, all right? That's and where you can get all of your updates, know when the up-and-coming episodes is going to be out and what the topics are. Yep. All right, y'all. Peace. Yep. Peace, Coast, baby. <laughs>